Hello! Oh my god, the chat is so small. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at you guys, you're tiny. L, hold on, let me fix that. Hello, welcome in everybody. I hope you enjoy the the new overlays. Got our sweet, sweet castle theme going on here, but <laughs> you're a little small right now. Uh, so let me go fix that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Unreadable, you spelled readable wrong. Bozo, L, L, L. Uh, how do I? Just a little guy. That's right. Just a little guy. Uh, text. What if I make the text size 50? No, that's that is much too large. That is much too large. 20. That's too small. 20, 25, 25, maybe? Save? Yes. Someone type something in chat so we can see. Someone, someone say something. Okay. I'll say something. I'm faster. I'm so fast. Potato. Okay, problem number two. Problem number two. Text is unreadable. <laughs> there we go. Save. Blue text on blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it should work. Now it should work. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's readable. Actually, it could probably be a little bit larger, right? Am I crazy for thinking that? I'm going to go to like 20, 28. Yeah? Yeah? Something like that? What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, some of the names are not readable on it, uh, but I mean, there's not much I can do about that. All right. There we go. Look, we we've got the problem solved. There may be another couple of uh, yeah edits we'll need to do as we go on here. Just to make sure that everything's working. But I hope you all enjoy it. All right. Hello, uh, Vlaka, Nurkor, Muffle, Morton, Solace, uh, Freyo. Uh, uh, Duracus, Nidius, hope you're all, Captain Walrus, hope you're all doing well today. Hope you're ready to jump back into Haraz or Doom when we have a war to win. Uh, not that it's a typical war, we're kicking their ass, but like we've occupied all the Lake Fed's land on the mainland and it's been like, I don't know, 10 war score or something. So, not good, not good. Uh, hey, Zardark and Raven, hope you're doing well. Uh, production percentage on interns. We see the pre-rot figures. Yes, we can look at that. Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta, gotta edit this a little bit. Gotta bring it down a little bit more. And over a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Uh, Razor, hello. Hope you're doing well. Also, I did take a shower this morning, so my hair is, uh, all fluky. I didn't put any product in it or anything so i will be messing with my hair a lot sorry not sorry uh okay yes that's off good good everything working yes good is the music quiet am i crazy Just a little bit crazy yeah, i was crazy once all right uh so you want to see production of interns as in like comparatively to the rest of the world or on a province what's the what are you trying to see here if you want to go for for interns we have 27 percent of the market share of the world uh buvari coming in second so much for breaking free of the slavers mm -hmm. sure 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 how many slaves do they actually have yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, I feel like four different things playing sound on my PC right now, so I don't know where stream sound ends and every other sound begins. It's only me. It's always been me. I'm the only sound on your PC. Uh, also, oh, the mountain. The mountain. Old viewers know. <laughs> I don't want to go to the mountain. <laughs> not again, not again. Uh, okay. Let's win this war, shall we? Uh, we are uh, kicking their ass. Like it's not even, it's not even close. We have way more army quality than they do, and like, we're just getting through their sieges. Like it's just at this point, it's just a formality to get enough war score to win. Trade dispute versus uh, sixteen-day siege tick. By the way. 
16 day sieges. You'll love to see it. You really do love to see it. You go there and there, just keep spreading out. And these guys have 185,000 troops. <laughs> like they have dudes, they just can't do anything. Uh, what's gonna be the piece? I want, at the very least, this. <laughs> 5,000 ducats, yes please. And some more reps. Um, I would like to take some land out here. I like to get control over Frost Forest. That way I can uh, do the thing. Trade companies. That's the thing. Uh, I'm also going to want to probably grab something in the Ogre Steps in the Blue Sea to create trade companies. Humiliate? Yeah, but like I'd rather take land here, to be honest with you. Like we have the center of trade. So if I can just grab a little bit more, then we should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna snake down to here to grab that. And snake over there to grab that. And then just take everything. Oh, I can't take everything, okay. It's like that. We take the Frost Forest node and one province outside to create a trade company. Yeah. Good plans. Good plans. Great plans. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I always make great plans. Uh, let's walk you guys around here. You don't need to be standing there. These troops can deal with anybody that tries to cross, but I don't know if they can even cross at this point. Check the final mission. Uh, yeah, we need to own all provinces in the West Dwarvar. Diplo rep of at least seven? What? Why? <laughs> sure, we have to take like Diplo ideas. What the heck? Reward of it. Uh, gain Cobalt Troll and Ogre Minorities in all holds within the West Dwarvar region. And goblins and orcs. Cool. Uh, all right, you guys moving out. So let's, let's just start off with a good old boom. Good old Diodarin. Good old Diodarin. <clears throat> a mining accident? I'm not paying that much money. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Centaurs are good, apparently. Yeah, centaurs are fine. Why would we intern centaurs? Uh, we will unlock a new deity in Omdir. Eagerly strike the salacious earth. Lorgrim Farstrider. One day Lorgrim Farstrider appeared fully divine, heralding the end of the era of Forgian alongside her brother Lorgrim. When death entered the world, she gathered the souls of dwarven kind while Dagrin stood stupefied as the oldest of his people suddenly grew weak and perished from the monster known as age and sickness. Simply don't die. Simply don't die. Apparently I'm being blocked here. Oh, there's four right here. That's why. That's why. <clears throat> uh, hey, Fallen Hearts. Would you, my Steam interns, diggy diggy hole for free? <laughs> for free? Uh, deep in the capital, I need to be at 110 development. Yeah, we'll do that. We can afford it. How are the merchants feeling? Uh, I mean, they don't have 60 influence, but I don't want to give them 60 influence anyways. Okay. There we go. And let's deepen the capital. Let's go. How the 1k get behind you? Uh, boats. <clears throat> they got them their boats. But that won't matter. That won't matter, not one bit. Okay, I need to go up here to this siege. We must go to the mountain. Ugh. 
I must go to the mountain. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. And apparently this is the end of what has been colonized. Then we'll grab that. Dang, he's fast. Oh, we already got the siege. Again, he has 186,000 troops. I don't know where they are. Uh, Corundum layer. Corundum is a rock forming mineral that is found in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks with a value of 9 on the Dwa's hardness scale. The mineral is widely known for its extreme hardness and for the fact that it is sometimes found as beautiful transparent crystals in many different colors. The extreme hardness makes Corundum an excellent abrasive, and when that hardness is found in beautiful crystals, you have the perfect material for cutting gemstones. We've encountered a massive layer of it. How should we proceed? <clears throat> uh, nothing will stop us, but I am hoping to... Oh. Never mind. Problem solved. Uh, we could have raised institution instead. I'm not going to. Ta-da! No, just kidding. We can do both. I like both. Both is good. Both is good. Uh, let's pull trade from here. 32, oh, oops. I just sent a merchant from here. That's all right. One, five, three. And I'm a, I'm a little nervous now up here because I don't know where he's at. Uh, spread out and get all this occupied real quick. Since we have the time. Maps could have been stolen. Uh, it's, true. it's true. It doesn't like really affect us, but it would have made life a little easier, yes. Transfer trade power here. Thank you. You a long way from home? <laughs> You're telling me, bro. You're telling me. I know. We be marching. Oh, what, what alerts did I just get rid of on accident? Uh-oh. We're off to a good start today, folks. We're doing, we're doing great. We're doing great. Okay, go there, go there. Move on to that siege. Any more horsepower in the mines? No, we don't enslave the centaurs. Sorry, intern the centaurs, come on. Okay, say goodbye to those troops. Uh, All of you, I don't know, meet up here. Man, imagine if we did this war while also at war with Gawed, that would have sucked. Just because of how long it would have taken. Luckily, we found a, a gap. Oh, hey, that's the Raj. So, yeah. Huh? How'd you pull that off? Uh, full sec. Thank you for the two months of Prime. I appreciate it. When is the Gwed internship program starting? Soon, TM. Soon, TM. They did an ally Boussola. Oh, boy. We can get back in time, right? Surely. Surely we can get back in time. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Here. We got we got stacks on stacks. There we go. I think we're real good. You guys are going to also go back. <clears throat> uh, we can take this 2510 liter and make it ours. Do I have the slots? Sure. Uh, I'm Oz Oral's Noble Adventures. Once one ventures, it is hard to settle down again. Recently, there has been a movement to bolster the adventurers to help with further reclamation, garnering opposition with adventure lords who have already established themselves. Such a change to the status quo must be answered. The High Lords must act. Uh, I do like the idea of taking land away from the nobles. I don't want to lose 20 legitimacy. <clears throat> don't want to lose 20 legitimacy. Uh, I do need to choose a major deity here. I think we go for Envolent for the advisor cost, and then we'll grab Grubble Azak for more siege ability, because apparently that's what I need. Wow, he was ready 
He was ready for this war. He knew what's up. He, he, there, there's all his troops over here, just waiting. Huh. Nice war score. Thank you. I, I'm hoping for a little bit more, though. <laughs> Hope for a little bit more. <laughs> Be nice. That's right. Coog deer will hold. It's fine. Nice for merchant classes, okay. 19 day siege check as you do. Any forts around here? No. 80% war score. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I mean, once we can just Peace out of this war, then we can call Laurent into our Goed war. And then it's a, it's a walk in the park. Okay, get all this occupied, and then we're going to cross. Okay, you go all the way in here. Just make sure they, they keep moving, because I'll forget. I will forget if I don't move them now. Hey, that's a couple of particulars you got there, my guy. You doing all right? Uh, <clears throat> less money, more land? No. I don't really need the... I mean, I don't really need the land anyways. But I just want the frost forest. Well, I suppose, actually, getting this trade company here is probably worth it. Just so I have three trade companies for age ability and splendor and all that jazz. Oh, nice, three stab. I really hope they're not up here. Because if they are, these troops are going to have a bad time. Get a coast so we can build boats. Is that the priority? Is is boats? Okay. You're going to go attack here. And we should thrash Goed, right? Like, we look at our war enemies here. Morale, we have... I don't know, math. 0.6 more morale than they do. We have equal discipline. We're just built different. We're not Hellenic. Like, come on. Uh, there's so many things in our benefit. Yeah, like, if that was a full stack, that would have been a stack pipe. Come at me, Goed. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. I do want to peace out this war, though. That's 24. Oh, he's going to unseat all this stuff now. There's another fort here, though. That may be our saving grace. That may be enough to get them out of the war. Okay, you two are going to group together. It's a full stack. 10-day siege trick, by the way. Uh, yeah, we still haven't uncovered all the lake bed, by the way. Well, this seems like a foolish thing for you to have done. Yeah, that was very... Very not smart. Very small brain of you. Uh, well, a couple more ticks and we should be good. You walk over there. If anything, just to scare them off. Okay. And there we go. Thank you! Very kind of you. Core it all. I don't get black flagged. Big sad. Walk back. Laurent? Hello? You asshole. He declared his own war. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Fine. I didn't need you anyways. Stupid. Stupid Laurent. Thank you. Freaking declare their own war. <laughs> vassalization. What do you mean? What do you mean vassalization might not be it? You don't think Laurent wants to get vassalized by me? I don't know what could give you that idea. Uh, flourishing court. 10 legitimacy. Minus 10 max absolutism. Plus 1 diplo rep. Go ahead. This is... Oh, okay. Froyo, you died in the middle of the battle. So, uh, L. Kind of embarrassing. For, for you. And for me, to be fair. Okay, 
Uh, let's go get Estel out of the war. Because they don't need to be here. Free consort general. Do it. Uh, if we get a better heir, then I'll make him into a general. Well, ah, why not? Day's bad. Uh, you're no longer a valid rival. That's true. That's true. Okay, this state, unfortunately, <laughs> doesn't have any centaurs in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that doesn't really help me much when it comes to the uh, whole trade company thing. <laughs> uh, another royal air down the shaft yeah hey at least it's not a over 100 year difference this time oh cool we got a stack flight easy oh a nine day siege tick cool easy uh, what do I even do here like, how do I even... He's got so much land. Look at him. Do I just carpet siege all this down? I mean, I guess. I guess so. And then, like, we leave... No, because he's got, like, 14,000 troops here. Also, we do have another merchant. Uh, Do I have any claims on Cracked and Roar? I do not. Let's build them. Because I want to annex them. They are taking too much of my trade power now, for sure. Start with his capital? Bro, his capital is over here. <laughs> on the other side of the continent. What do you mean, start with his capital? What do you mean? That's so far away. It's so far away. Okay, let's just... Just start, just start sieging. So anyways, I started sieging. And then what do I want from Goed? I mean, obviously I want to kick him out of the Northern Pass. That's number one most important thing. Um, yeah, that's right, I got the Northern Pass memorized. Ah, that's not Northern Pass. Good chance to remake asking Chaos. No, because like, he'll just eat them. <laughs> I'll just eat them afterwards. Hey, look, Ibovar's friendly. We can ally Ibovar. I'm not going to, but we could. I mean, there are like tags we could release, I suppose, as vassals. Right now, they're all orcs, but... On the bright side, at least they wouldn't get mad at us for he-hooing them. We could release Hammer Home. Yeah. We can release Hammer Home. Give them this land. Oh, we could create them a we can make them a march. Ooh. Ooh. And then we could build up forts on these outside provinces so my own provinces don't get uh hit. Okay, well I think you're all being a little dramatic and a little rude. Nah, fucking what are they gonna do? Declare a coalition? No. They ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna do nothing. Kenorians, man. They're always concerned about like the balance of power. Uh oh. No 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 Hehe bozo It's forest. Uh, there's no reason for me to rush into that fight. Okay, we can't carpet siege yet. Sad. Sad but true. You need to come and help out. Do see lots of troops though that we can go and dunk on. I would like a better general though here. Uh, I think Tavarna. Yeah, infantry combat ability. Five fire. Sounds great. 
You have no general. Does it mean you'll stay with no general? I'm seeing opportunities to grab easy stack wipes here, so I'm going to take them. But if he steps into my land, which I think he is. Oh, he switched over a general at the last second. Damn it. Okay. No, we got to back up then. If he didn't have a general, we could have gotten away with it. But with a general, he's just going to send all his dudes towards me. He's not going to worry about Laurent. Uh, give me your war reps. Get rid of your core. Uh, don't give up your claims in Gawed. Give me your trade power. Oh, you're a vassal. That would uh, complicate things. Yes. Yep, that would complicate me separate piecing you out. That would do that. Yep, 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 yep. That would do it. My bad. Okay, we're losing a lot to attrition here that we don't really need to. <clears throat> like the... Oh man, bro, come on. Well, Rent is attacking you. I mean, never mind. They are a great conqueror with 347,000 troops. Never mind, go ahead. You're, you're welcome here. They're also tech 16 now. Steal Massa Garudia? I mean, we can. Debug region. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Uh. Garudian Coast. Yay, we can see them. All right, I think our best bet is just to go back inside the mountains and wait for them to come to us. Yeah. Like, we have ticking war score, so. Pushing out into 153,000 troops doesn't sound great necessarily. When they can come onto my caverns and my holds and get rolled. Uh, but we will still push up through here. Five there and five there. Cannons can follow behind. Uh, go ahead and get that unsieged. Yeah. Yeah. Then they are more than welcome to uh, step on the caves and see how that goes for them. Don't think ways invade our caverns? Uh, no. <laughs> no. We are invading them. I was going to call Laurent into my war, but no, they had to declare their own war. Would have made this war a piece of cake. But they had their own plans. Which is fine. I'm not mad about it. You're mad about it. Uh, give me 30,000 cannons and 40,000 troops. Make sure we have the correct general on. And let's go kick some ass. Never mind. They ran away because they're cheating. And they can see exactly where I am clicking. Woohoo! Uh, you go there. You go there. You can... Ignore that for now. Grab Balvoran. Like, how am I supposed to fight them if they know where I'm at every time? Huh? Huh? Uh, you only take lands in one region. We go towards the Vikings. I don't know. I'm just doing this war because I don't know. Cause we can. Uh, let's build a bunch of menu factories. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I have soldiers' households now, too, so let's get that manpower. Look at all these places that are yellow. We're going to have to go through here and manually check all of our provinces. Take Marhold for ourselves. No, we've got to prepare for our wars against Varamhar. That's going to be difficult enough. <clears throat> uh, speaking of, cancel that. Go ahead and build a ramparts here. And build a fort here as well. Just to prepare for that. Yeah? Actually, no. Cancel. Build a fort here. 
and build a fort here after that barracks is done because then we have this nice line here and they have to pick a hold fort a cavern fort or this road fort that's the the goal how am I supposed to fight these guys I don't understand what you want me to do uh, what do you want they just run away when I walk towards them there's nothing I can do you freaking jerks that's right I said it sorry for using such harsh language but they're being jerks right now <laughs> go grab that 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 and that, you go there. Okay, here's what we do. We go outside. We go into the sunlight, I'm sorry. I know, it's the worst. Look, they just leave. What do you want? Fight me. Fuck, I'll take this hills fight, fine. I don't care. I'm not scared. Hey, Laurent, how you doing? I hope you're having a good war over here. I hope you're having a good war where you don't have to do goddamn anything. They've had eight battles. Eight battles. There are uh, 200,000 troops in the freaking uh, Dragon Coast. Oh, the kobolds are still here, too. Uh, should we make a committee to decide if we should write a strong word letter of general disagreement with their foreign policy? Yes, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. It's honestly, I am not impressed. Okay? Cultural unrest. I don't care. Okay, these troops are dead. There ain't no way that's not a stack wipe. There ain't no way you just didn't give me a stack wipe there. No general... 20,000 troops. Where's a full back line? Come on. Right in their non-existing player focus. No, I, I'm i fine with them uh, attacking me. That's fine. I just want them to actually attack me and not just run away whenever I start to move in their general direction. Like, fight me, bro. Fight me. I want to fight. Rapid development due to humans. Sure. Irrigation system repaired. Cool. Private contractors. Cool. Can I repair other irrigation? Need more money. And General Tavarna is dead. Okay. I need a replacement. I need someone who's going to have a six, uh, six fire. Would anyone like to try to be a six fire general? Because I need one right now. Right, right now. Right now. Hat von Hattington. You are going to be so good. Okay, uh, Captain Walrus, first general of the day. You're gonna be so good. You're gonna be so good here. So good. All right, not bad, not bad. But again, put it in the fire phase, please. Six in the fire phase, please. Please, 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 please. Uh, okay, you're also fired. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna hire two more then. Severed Gembeard, I think is going to be, oh, no, actually. Captain Walrus, you're faster, so you're in. Congratulations. Congratulations, you're in. Shite rolls in. Not not very good. Not very good, but that's okay. You can't win them all. Hey, look at that. Stack white. Off to a good start. Does Gwen have manpower? Like, what's going on here? They do. Okay. Minotaurs raid our arsenal? Go deal with them. Go deal with them. Okay, well now I don't even know where to go again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I see some dudes. I see some guys. 35,000 guys to be specific. Look at that. They disappeared. Go grab Kassanor again. Oh, Kassanath. I woke up this morning and there was some dude like revving his chainsaw and I'm not sure exactly what he was doing 
because it didn't sound like he was actually cutting anything. He just kept revving it, and I was like, bro, what? Why? It is way too early for you to be doing this, my guy. Way too early. Uh, hey, Amy. No! Why do you have troops over here? Bro, I will never understand the AI. I will never understand. Why do you just have AI like why do you just have troops like hiding over here when I was stack wiping your main armies? What is wrong with you? Well, you just left your homies to die? Like uh, hello? Why you fight Goed? Uh why not? Is there ever a good reason to not fight Goed? But mostly because Boosalar wouldn't join at this exact moment, and so I had to take advantage of it. Uh, go there. You stay here and make sure that troop doesn't cause any problems. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh. You go deal with those rebels. I forgot about the rebels, ain't gonna lie. Straight up forgot. There would be rebels. Go against what they deserve eating half a second. Yeah, if Kanar won't take care of their own problems, then I'll take care of it for them. Honestly. Okay, we're just gonna... I'm gonna try this again. We're gonna split into, like, stacks of six. Well, now I've messed up my stacks of six. Bozo play. Um... You go there, keep converting. Also, this coalition still hasn't fired. I, what are you waiting for exactly? I'm confused. They're being killed on both sides by their largest rivals. Okay. Yeah, they've got 100,000 troops, but they're all going to die soon. So just declare. Do it. But You know, make the sound. Do the thing. Do the thing. You win these, okay? Laurent, you get your ass out of here, okay? This is my land. You don't get to occupy my land. Just because you declared your own war, because you think that you're special or something, you deserve to, to have land or something, all right? Doesn't mean that I want you to have it. You get out of here. You go back and deal with the regular Goetti land, and I'll keep taking this Goetti land, and we'll both be happy. But if you start occupying things that I want to take in this war, I'm going to not be so happy. And I'll kick your ass. Even though you're far away and have more troops than I do, and uh, you're farther ahead than tech than I am, because you took tech early for some reason. Uh, other than those small details. Oh my god, now I'm dying to rebels down here? Everything is not coming up Poey today. No sir. No sir. How many... Where are these 100,000 troops? <laughs> Where are they? Where are you hiding them? Uh, Judas! Thank you for the 12 months! One whole year! Thank you, uh, Mr. Gabo Mew. That's right, Mr. Gabo... Wait, what? What do you mean, Mr. Gabo Mew? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by that? I'm a, I'm a good dwarven citizen, okay? I would never support goblins. Mm -mm, no way. No, unless it's Dak. I mean, come on. We can all agree that we should support Dak, right? He's a he's a special exception. Why? 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 Do you have nothing better to do? Do you have nothing better to do, my guy? Goblin ambush on my capital. Well, that's very rude. Dak would never do that to me. <clears throat> Uh, okay, grab this, and this, and this. Gonna go to the white walls of Kasnor, please. And I am trying to go for 100% war score. I could peace out Reveria, so let's do that. I don't really care about them being in this war. Gold rush? 5,000 monies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, build manufactories. 
Uh, we'll work with our governing capacity, and then we're going to have to go through and start deleting buildings or doing a little bit of development to try and make sure that we can actually uh, build all manufacturers in all provinces. But that sounds like a lot of micro at the moment, so we're just going to keep doing this war. Alright, you go here. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to cover siege now because they just keep attacking me. Uh, sort of euphemism. Thank you for the five months of Prime. Appreciate it. Poey, I have to know. Do we win these? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do win these. We are. Uh, we're kicking their ass. <laughs> they have lost three hundred and fifty-six thousand troops to us alone. They're not doing too hot. <laughs> They're not doing too hot. We do win these. We are the aggressors in this war. But honestly, I'm just waiting for the stupid coalition to fire. Like, come on, man. Do the thing. Do the thing. Uh, Daedra got a medal. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Uh, just finished yesterday's VOD. What do you take from Lake Fed? We took essentially uh, just the Frost Forest and then two provinces in different nodes so we can add them to trade companies, which I definitely remembered to do. I definitely remember to add them to trade companies for uh, the next ages thing in 50 months to, uh, you know, words. Words are difficult. To get splendor. I need a theologian or an artist. You're hired. Uh, subsuming the masses. Such a large influx of goblins strains the capabilities of our overseers to manage them all. Additional support is required to prop up brutal institutions. We will expand both the facilities of our indentured masses and the numbers of the soldiers who guard them. Similarly, such logistics require the expansion of state infrastructure to accommodate the burgeoning bureaucracy required to maintain our labor system. With time and expense, we will subsume and assimilate these rail skulkers into just another green skin with the indentured masses. Uh, MW Ports, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, do you play MP ever? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, every once in a while, yes, I do. Every once in a while. And Ermi, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Wow, so many people here today. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, can I use the two times Poey now? Normal Poey seems sort of slow. I can go even slower if that's what you want. I understand, though. I do the same thing. I watch most content on two times speed. Brr. Brain go burr. Uh, we got to fight Varmhar for that one. Airnet Beardy is 20 Diplo development for this one. And we got to kill those dwarves for that one. Yeah. What's this dwarf tag about? Pay unpaid interns. We do we do unpaid internship. Real good. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We got lots of goblins and orcs in our lands. Let me tell you what. More than you think for a dwarf. It has the diplo dev. Oh, it does. Twenty seven. Five twenty seven three. I'm not complaining. But, like, just seems odd. He who nomics? Yeah, that must be it. All the goblins running from the other dwarves must have ran to it or something. Oh, oh, oh. And cross. He has such, so little troops left. Like, we're so close to just being able to safely siege everything down. You're going to go grab the vassal land. Uh, go here, and here, and here, and here. Good, good. Four there, four there. Three there, two there, two there. Okay, okay. Gawed, I am once again asking, why are we not peacing out right now? Like, I think you've lost. I think it's fair to say you have taken the L. Yeah? 
I don't think there's much coming back from this one. Not in these wars, at least. Rebuild your strength. We'll, we'll do this again another time. At this point, this is just bullying. Uh, go there, go there, and go there. You are one messed up stack because of all the... Yeah, definitely dig hold faster. In before Gawed Great Conquer. You think that's going to help them? Really? You've got Great Conquer, Laurent on their border, 343,000 troops, and you have Player. Uh, what, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? I make 227 ducats a month. I just... I could murk up into oblivion. They simply do not understand. Why are there pretender rebels down here? What kind of shitty pretenders are these? Oh, they're not. They're at Mary Separatists. Why are there as Mary Separatists over here? Wait a second. Wait a second. That doesn't make no sense. Rip the new world? Uh, it's actually pretty even right now. As long as you ignore this. What? They actually formed? Huh. Well, suppose it only lasts for so long. Let's go, Westum! Woohoo! <laughs> Get the Yannick Empire! Let's go! Uh, you love to see it. What's that outline you got? It's part of our fancy new overlays. Look, I can show you the other ones. Uh, we have the just starting screen. Look, 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 look. We have this screen, which there are supposed to be new uh, sound effects for the followers and stuff, but uh, apparently I forgot to put that onto the actual gaming scene. So uh, huge, massive, massive. I'll have to do that after stream. That'll take me like 10 minutes. Because I'm incompetent. Uh, any more irrigation? Oh, yes, irrigation. Thank you. Just one. Just one. And then we can turn this into... Hey, wait a second. That's not green. <laughs> and then we can turn this all into... Really nice manpower pools. Uh, yep. Culture to convert those over. Okay, go ahead. I think it's time that we wrap this up, don't you? Well, we're gonna have to wait for Laurent to peace out, probably. Beautiful cavern profits, thank you. We profit so well. Can I tell that soldier household? Build fort. Okay, well. Now what? <laughs> now uh, we, we beat him um, we chilling I guess we are chilling uh, built fort in the caverns on the border of Vara Varamhar uh, yes we I just did that I guess we could build one here too I'm not as tempted by that though they can come back to the hold I think that's fine. Glad you find some reason got protection for your massive shaft. Yeah, you know, you gotta gotta protect the massive shaft and old hole, obviously. I mean, come on. It's a very important. Oh, I don't get all of Castanor or Castanath's each down. Rip. Okay, well. Now we wait. I'm not thrilled with this. I want all of Hammerholm's cores. Hmm. Okay, maybe we don't take that, this one. What if I do this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, Steel Hill is the problem here. It costs too much. Take some recon later. No, I only have four cores. It's not really worth the whole reconquest war. We'll take this for now. Sure. Snake until Laurent. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, and let's go ahead and release Hammer Home. Congratulations. Welcome back. Enforce our religious on you. Religion. You'll be thankful for it over time. Don't worry. We'll grant you a bunch of land. There we go. Dwarves. Make your way back inside. And all will be right with the world. Have a new Hammer Home's mission tree. Do they have anything that's like, oh, you can't be a vassal? Uh, they have to own Kastanath. They need to own temples. Change the deity to Balgar. Well, that will not work for them. Let me tell you what. <laughs> that will not work. That will not work. Uh, we could do some of it, actually. We, we could do some of it. Not sure much what I actually want to do, but... All right, let's get back to drilling our dudes. Uh, just kidding. No, that one stays in. That one stays in. Core things up. Okay, I just want to make sure that it wasn't there. All right, cool. Uh, I can seize land right now. Get back up over 32, and me to prepare for good old absolutism. Uh, we can get rid of reclamation initiative. We can get rid of right of council. And get rid of nobility in the officer corps. There we go. There's the coalition war, possibly. Yes, Aaron of your trade center. Thank you. There we go. Uh, what else am I missing? No devastation. Oh, it needs a marketplace. It doesn't have a marketplace yet. What in the world? Oh, that's right. I guess we technically we finished colonizing it, so it didn't have anything in there before. Think about that. All right. Well, we will get that done uh, soon, TM. Soon, TM. We are about to have a bunch of rebels. North Vale. Can we just like not? Don't know how on board with that they're going to be. Okay, you're gonna take care of those rebels. Uh, we can go to war with Orlazam Azdir whenever we want and Cracked Roar. But I'd like to take this tech first. So we'll hold off on that. Not like they're going anywhere. Not like they're going anywhere. You were suppressing rebels and I told you to drill. It's fine. Drill away. In your nice forest? Yeah, we can. I don't know. I don't know if we have enough money. Uh, go with the autonomy one. Where are you? I, I'm blind. Trade value. I'm blind and dumb. And I know that I've already hovered over it now. Probably like twice. Uh, there you are. <laughs> Huge, huge streamer opens eyes for once. Can actually see massive, massive. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about those investments. Doesn't matter. You want me to build your navy now? <laughs> I don't want to. How do I have 17 naval force to make? What? Huh? Ah, that's how. You know what? I can't. It's not cord yet. Sorry. I tried. I did my best. I did my best. Base 12. Yeah, it's from our naval supplies. 
Inland Tracer Company also gets Navy Force Limit. Huge, huge, huge. They're just very good at, uh, you know, boats. I can get a cheaper Commandant. Uh, yes, please. I love cheaper advisors. Here we go. Huge. Uh, why are you more expensive than this guy? Because mm, I have aristocratic counselors. Plus five is base flies. Base is at 12. Lower base game. Uh, base is 12. 13 provinces because it's 5.08. I ain't worried about it. One day I'll learn how to use Trigon Knot today. <sighs> Find a state that has a trade center. Add all the provinces in that state to trade company. Use the investments. Don't add anything else. Trade companies give goods produced to provinces that are not in the trade company, but are in the node. So like the goods produced that is created in this state gives us more incense here. Yes? Goods produced. Um, train companies give 89.8% goods produced right now. Because it's based off of our trade power. In our trade company provinces. Train companies are for noobs? No, trade companies are for people who know how trade works. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. Trade companies are for people who conquer the deep woods. <laughs> Because there ain't nothing else valuable in the deep woods. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, let's start improving with you. Do I actually want to uh, march them? Probably not. I think we just go to jump. I don't really want to defend him. Laurent wants money. No. How much do you like me, Laurent? Oh boy, I probably should have said yes. I probably should have said yes. Do 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 do. Prove relations with you. No. Wow, finally. Finally the coalition declares. It looks like it's not going to be able to do much, but at the very least it'll keep Gwed busy. Boussalar doesn't like us. Man, what are they going to do about it? What are they going to do about it? Miltex soon, TM. You're almost done building, and then we can get our... Tri well... Yeah, no, we'll just build it. I'm not going to wait for the next building. Be fine. Oh, uh, we can get rid of our edicts, so let's do that. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ooh, 44 years. Ooh, another 44 years. We just really wanted to ensure that that place was religiously unified. Ooh, 45 years. Ugh. Oofa doofa. <sighs> Do lies a Dukinist? Yeah, I know, but he's fine. You know, we are an accepting nation here, all right? As long as you're dwarves. Uh, give me that advisor cost. And we can perform a ritual here. And we have 200 faith power. Mining accident sucks to suck. Uh, he is getting occupied by quite a bit here. Quite a bit. Rising star, a cheaper national manpower guy we don't need. We have our cheaper discipline advisor right now. Beautiful cavern profits. Let me just spend my money. Sitting on money bad. Sitting on money bad. Uh, I can get more goods produced by developing here. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay for the dev cost one. There we go. Upgrade that to level two and then we'll build a marketplace here. Should also build a marketplace in these buildings. Actually, it's more important that we build manufacturers. More important to me. There we go. 
What about out here? You're level two. You're level one. There we go. Get you to level two. Make sure we're pulling in as much trade as possible. You're going up to level three. If only for the manpower that we get for having the level three centers of trade. Um, actually, I guess I don't really need this level of three here, but again, it's manpower. Grand Dwarf War win uh, after I take Admin Tech. Because I want the governing capacity, the Admin Efficiency, and probably most importantly, the universities. Uh, in fact, we should save up our money here to get more universities. Lose two corruption, gain two corruption. I'm already at basically max legitimacy. That sucks. Uh, yeah, I can do that. pull that off and we'll just save up for universities and then we're gonna have to go through and micro because look at how many manufacturers we could be building it's almost all of our provinces uh mithridum hold eagerly strike the salacious earth apparently we unlocked a minor deity okay hold digging operation Uh, we can also expand administration here in Kugdir. You'd love to see it. You do, you do, you do. Varm Harness is me as a rival. I mean, I guess they're allowed to do that. All right, Heart of Darkness. Here we go. Air Navier has a marketplace. The corrupt, or they corrupt the halls of our ancestors, cobbling fragments from the ruin they wrought in a futile attempt to civilize themselves. These verminous monsters attempt to organize themselves into laughable imitations of a state, a mockery brought to life. Their wanton destruction of all Dwarov and perversion of the Dwarvar places an incomprehensible debt on the Greenskins, a debt long due to be collected. The squatters wish to obtain a hold for themselves, so we, Platinum Dwarves, ever generous, are obligated to gift them one wrapped in Platinum Chains. The event, a necessary evil happens, culture in the rail yard area becomes Daggerite Dwarf, and the indentured malice, indentured malice will be reduced. Left side missions? Uh, he's owning the one province from these guys. We're also going to need Diplo up of three, so that'll be fun. Uh, necessary evil. Here we stand in the heart of Aldorov, the railway station that facilitated the transport of goods throughout the Empire. The goblin infestation on Ernatvir has given us boons in twofold. The large influx in goblin slaves and the relative preservation of Ernatvir by its squatters. With the hold central position in the western Dwarvar, we can once more utilize the rail yard for efficient transportation throughout our growing domain. Despite such a monumental step forward in the West Dwarvar's restoration, apprehension creeps into the mind of the High Lord Moira. Though Haraz or Doom extensively utilizes the brutal institution of slavery, the same cannot be said for the rest of the Dwarvar. As first among equals, the act that will be done here will forever change the very identity of Ernatvir and have rippling consequences throughout the Serpent Spine. With the growth of the green slave trade and the ever-increasing demands for cheap labor, the restructuring of Ernatvir provides a dark but lucrative opportunity. With a deep breath that fills Moira with a terrible resolve, she hastily stamps the proposal that seals Air Netbeer's fate. The hold shall be established as the foremost hold of slaves to fuel our indigenous system and meet our ever-growing demands. A new epithet is required. To the end of the game, we get minus 30% production efficiency instead of minus 40%. Uh, culture and Air Netbeer will become Platinum Dwarf and slaves will now be produced. And we get orcs, goblins, kobolds, and ogres in Air Netbeer. Are we missing one? Trolls. Yeah, we haven't gotten to trolls yet. Second intern hold. Yeah. 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 All right. Build the trade station. Do what we gotta do, I guess. Uh, Gwed is dying to this coalition. Hall of the Ancestors has been dug to the next level, which I appreciate. Uh, you're level three, right? Yes. Okay. And you have a state house as well. What other buildings do I want to build here? Training field's probably a decent idea. It just keeps happening. It just keeps happening. <laughs> Yeah, Mace Shower wouldn't be bad either. 
throw that down. Dove rod 13 has been converted. Just keep converting. We are fine doing that. None of this needs to be stated. I don't know why this is full stated, but okay. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. We're now pulling in 10 decades of trade from uh, for Frost Forest, which is pretty good. Foundry. Strong military leadership. Rip army tradition. Rip, rip, rip. Uh, so, Varmhar. This is going to be a fun time because we have to do three wars against Varmhar, at least. So take this first section, colonize, second section, colonize, third section. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. Yeah. 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 Not a fan. Not a fan. I also need to spy on them. I am. Uh you know the Kingdom of Congo in E4? Yeah. You know they built their empire in interns and after the European Man of Slaves they collapsed immediately? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm aware. I know. Shout out to colonizers, you know, I guess. On sale foundations. Oh, well, got my stab back immediately. Small tolerance of orcs. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's quite going to make a difference. All right. Uh, antique machine. I could sell it. I'll study it, try and get our innovativeness maxed out. I would like to get a level five admin advisor. I want the all power cost. All right, let's build uh, universities. So obviously we prioritize building on holds. Some holds are currently digging, so I cannot build them there. Okay, most of our holds are actually digging, but it's fine. But it's fine. We could also be nice and build in our vassal's land. Nah. <laughs> I want money for myself. I want money for myself. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of oversight because it's going to make you not so loyal. I can get rid of colonial charters, though. Don't really need that as much. I feel like we're not gonna have any absolutism though. Like it's not, we have debuffs to our absolutism, but we need at least 50 in our final mission. Uh, if I threaten you, will you accept it? There we go. And then we'll just attack Crackton Vor. Centaurs in the mountains? There are? Where? Donde? Where? I don't see him. Oh, oh, you mean here? Oh, 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 you mean like actual land inside the mountains? Ooh. Our uh, attack is basically this. Well, everyone argues whether we should purge or integrate green screens for us. I'll do barges on the rail cart and goes, okay, guys, now hear me out. Yeah, yeah. You should not hear them out. Mm, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful sight. I wonder what they're going to do. They'll probably be like, yeah, I'll take like two ducats and return one province to, uh, to Korintar. <laughs> right, okay. Cool. Thanks. Uh, we should move our forest fort out here because Log Gear's End is a nice fort. Forkel Vazgron has been dug to the next level. Getting a university built up. We literally want universities everywhere, so make it happen. Uh, and are all roads stated? Yes. There we go. It's now the Age of Witch Kings and the Ascani Wars of Consolidation start. Uh, good luck. Ooh, hey. 
Hey now. Hello. Get some claims here. That's free land for Hammer Home. That's free. It's free. Let's get the claims. All right, uh, we have three trade companies, at least five universities, land force limit of at least 200 regiments, an empire. We don't have a powerful mage in charge. We were not involved in the league war whatsoever. Uh, we can have 16 absolutism, huge. Massive. I'm not spending 93. I'll spend 44 for two. Then I'll boost my legitimacy back up, but like, even that feels kind of bad. Oh, wow. It's kind of crazy how we haven't gotten an heir yet. Come on, Hammer Home, just get the claim. Get the claim when we win these. All right. We go in, we, we take the land. You get all the land. It'll be great. You can rule it however you want. I don't really care. Uh, Mulin has converted to high philosophy somehow, despite the fact that they're not fast-wise. I don't know. Uh, Buvari is killing the Raj. The command is probably not far behind. Are we taking court and doing CNC for absolutism? <laughs> don't want to. I'd rather not. We need to take diplomat. Well, hold on. Does court give diplo rep? No, we, we need to take something that gives us Diplo rep. So we need like Diplomatic. Yeah, we get plus one Diplo rep from a policy there. Plus one from an offensive. Plus one with infra... Yeah, no, no. We have to take Diplo next. Land used to be owned by Raj. People probably got eat out of it. That would make sense. That would make sense. Build along the roads. Because, I mean, I'd rather have my roads easier to develop than my caverns. I'm not, I'm not gonna develop my caverns unless I really need to. Take tolerance for fun. For role play reason. Yes, true, so true. Tolerance, mm-hmm. Uh, we can delete that. Tolerance for this tag definitely makes sense. Yup, mm-hmm. Sure, 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 sure does. <laughs> Who else cook? Memes are enemies, but most of them are already dispersed or chained to work for us. Maybe gods, and we took their punishments. Three, in fact, all at once and withstood it. So no one gives permission to cook. We cooked ourselves, and internships will continue evermore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We're waiting for a good opportunity to jump on these guys. The problem is, like... You're rivaled. Maybe we can ally Jadari. Or something. Remember when we were allied to Busalar? Those were the good old days. Let's re-improve relations. Maybe we can get them back on our side. Alright, uh, reinstate the stewards. To truly claim ownership of the Serpent's Veil vale requires the revival of the Orlazamer stewards. During the days of Aldorov, the Ramsteel Dwarves were tasked with protecting the terrace farms of the Vale from any foreign invader. Their unwavering loyalty and near total support to any High King has fostered great relations between our two holds in ages past, separated that we were. Uh, with the near unanimous support from the Platinum Nobility, let us spoil the High Lord's favorite. Well, we get plus 0.5 local goods produced. And for 10 years, 10% shock damage. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, wow. 10% shock damage. Now I need Diplo Rep of at least three. There we go. Uh, emulate the old. Our hold takes immense pride in our ancestors, vaingloriously boasting of our times before and acting as herald for its return. To truly emulate them, we should look no further than the remnant holds, those who have stood the test of time. The Diamond Dwarves of Arg Ortsen hold a rebellious legacy harking back to a time even before Aldorov. Even under Aldorov, the Diamond Dwarves' defiance knew no heights, always clashing against the authority of the High King and leading the main opposition in the High Assembly for their own interests. 
Despite such arrogance, we must grant them a begrudging respect both as our elders and as a long-lived clan. Extending the delegation to these obstinate individuals may allow us to adapt the Diamond Dwarven aplomb for our own nobility, for imitation is the highest form of flattery. Ugh, yeah. Our Gordston definitely exists. Definitely an independent nation that is still around. No, the dwarves are still there, but, you know. They're elven citizens. Uh, in order to restore Haraz Old Doom's reputation, extensive research on etiquette is required. The Diamond Dwarves of Arg Ordston were staunch oppositionists of all Dwarov and learned to navigate the old halls with aplomb second to none. Though we despise them for this opposition, we must respect their long lineage and their continued existence. We will send a portion of our most loyal nobility to study court proceedings so we may bolster our own diplomatic prowess. All right. For 10 years, we have minus one diplomats and minus 20% for relations. I've never understood why, like, these adventurer dwarves that reform holds, they're all like, ah, yes, we, we're going to go back and have the exact same relations that we, that the old holds had when they were still around. And it's been, like, thousands of years. Like, that's insane. Uh, Kingsman, that was a fun movie. That is a very fun movie. It's LARPers. Yeah, I know, but, like, come on, man. You're hosting a magical feast. I can do that. Well, <laughs> not right now, but soon. When I have a little bit more money, I can do that. Also, it's adventures. Right, it's adventures. They, how, how do they know? How do they know what all Dwarah was like? That's always been my biggest thing. Like, do, do dwarves have a history of, of oral traditions that are good enough to last thousands of years? Even after they've gotten their asses kicked over and over and over again? I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, the holds already specialized in the relations now to make sense. Right. I, in some ways, yeah. But does it make sense for uh, Haraz or Doom to have the same, like, rivalry with Arg Ortston, even though it's been literally thousands of years? Like, I don't know. Find books? <laughs> Me finding a book saying how my great 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 grandfather hated one dude from Argordston. Yes, I will hate them too. Average dwarven plan. Seven years getting killed by nearest here. You hate the French? Yeah, but that's just natural. I don't know what to tell you. Isn't it the same? No, I don't like the French. Okay, maybe you have a point. Those French are always up to something. You never know what they're up to. Irrigation system is repaired, and now all the irrigation is good to go. You can't erase history. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, we get dwarf our grains at the end of the game. Minus 5% dev cost globally, and minus 50% local dev cost in these areas. These areas. All right, a little bit more money, and then we can host a feast. Apparently my vassal needs some help dealing with some problems. Oh, now I can upgrade my trade buildings. We'll host the feast first. Go, don't worry, I got you, homie. I got you. Nurestir has eaten it all. Nurestir, you're... You are lucky that I don't really want people to be mad at me anymore. At one point, we may kill them, though. Uh, Greeks, any of the dwarves or other dwarves? It's kind of how they lost all dwarves in the first place. We have a vicious civil war and the greens get stuck. Okay, well, I mean, it, it ain't that simple, but yes. Yes, true, 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 true. But, I mean, the elves kind of, you know, did everything, too. Not everything, but a large portion. Segdir wants an alliance. How about no? Nah. Actually, you're out to Jadari. Sure, I'll accept it. Vassalize Marhold? Why? So I can specifically own the hold? Is that why you want me to vassalize Marhold? 
Uh, fine, fine, fine. Make a claim here. We'll start improving relations with them. Uh, lay of the land. To further the opulence of Almaz Orals, we must look west towards the Canorian courts. To preserve our reputation, only the mightiest of the surface realms will suffice to study from, which draws our gaze to the nations of Laurent and Gawed. Bitter rivals, the two great powers vie with one another to establish hegemony over Western Canor. Perhaps we can take this opportunity to act as a neutral mediator between the two nations, bringing an end to their feud. Yeah, 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 that's definitely what happened. That, that'll happen. I'm sure Gawed will love to listen to us tell him to like the Laurentish more. Surely. <laughs> Surely. Goedi and Lincori don't mix well. The splitting of the small country by the regional powers of Goed and Loren has created significant friction between the two countries. To not offend either party, both were invited to harass Old Doom to participate in the Almaz Orals. A classic mistake. The anger radiated by both parties upon seeing one another was almost on par with a dwarven grudge. In a very heated exchange that followed, the court was able to learn some very colorful language from the Canorians, though this did result in an early recess. It makes my mouth all tingly. Until the end of the game, we get 50% power protection from insults. Uh, we gain 10 legitimacy. All extra legitimacy is converted into monarch points. Imperial Affairs. We have at least four diplomats. And a bunch of electors like... Oh, hello. And then the vampires need to like us? Weird. The promises in Vazatun. Okay. All right. Did you expect anything else? No, no, I, I knew they wouldn't get along. I knew that. Apparently our tag did not. Did not get the memo. Uh, I would like to build forts. I'd like to build forts out here. Oh, we celebrate a festival. Uh, the hammer falls as the corrupt captain follows his fellow conspiring magistrate into the halls of the dead, where Dagrin will certainly ensure that they suffer for their corruption and misuse of power. This is the third execution held by the priesthood of Anvalin and Harazor will doom in a week. As all across the realm, similar trials are being held that have been authorized by Moira. These are to be overseen by Anvalin's clergy in an effort to resist in resolving the rampant revolts and unrest. Cool. That's pretty much damn near useless for us. Uh, do we want to save up for Dagrin here? It's either dagger in here or dagger in here, so we'll go for the monthly admin. We'll save up. We'll save up. Put you there. I can seize Crownland. Awesome. Up to 40. That's converted. Get that converted. Uh, just kidding. Cancel that. Get Northvale converted? Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Need good looking religious maps. Uh, we get a game on bus for learning Kenorian swear words. Yeah. Take away this. They don't, have, they don't have a monopoly on it. It's uh, ostentious overseers. That's their special thing that they get. Um, it does look like the monopoly. It's the same thing. But you give adventurers the monopoly on slaves. So, we are all good on that front. No problems. Busalar, are you willing to ally me yet? Yes, you are. All right, let's do that. We'll build up favors, and then we will attack Varumhar with Busalar's help. Yeah? We'll have to fight off the very strong ally of Rewell. Uh, are you cheaper by any chance? I don't think so. <sighs> Cave slimes, kill them. We do have that expedition still. It's golden medium. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, party share of a hundred. This ain't even really worth it, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know what? You keep drilling. Build 10 new troops, because I don't want to get rid of troops that have drill. That just sounds 
kind of bad. Sounds kind of bad. I did have a stack that was like weird. Yeah, you get up to 20,000 troops. Uh, and then I think we just build a bunch of infantry. So, current. I'm gonna build another like 40,000. 40,000 infantry. That should work. A few next missions to the south we could go take. Yeah, we have to colonize out towards them. But we will. Well, We will get there. Okay, you need to make your way back over here. And then 1615, our truce with Orlazam Azdir will be up. And then we can go to war with Krektivor in Orlazam Azdir. And then I can take all their lands. Uh, Didari, you still don't know who I am, so you're not willing to ally me. That is unfortunate. Oh, uh, what in the world? Uh, wine and glass. The Lincorian and Linux are at it again, attempting to one-up each other. What was amusing at first has now grown stale, deteriorating the lively atmosphere in the assembly hall. The High Lord must intervene. Her word will affect our standing among those in Vinus. A fine wine from Lincori. Oh my god. Look at all those people that hate me for saying that. What if we just poured wine into the glass? I get 50% inno gain. And everybody hates me. No, we're picking sides here. We're picking sides. I don't want none of this Goetti wine. Gross. Gross. Uh, who's got our crown parts at the moment? People that we're not going to go fight for the crown parts. <laughs> uh, Chain Grathra has the Amethyst. Thieving Arrow has the Diamond. Vergogolan has the Citrine. Jade March owns the Jade. And the Sapphire is also owned by Thieving Arrow. These little suckers. But I'm not going over to fight the Jade March or Chain Grasper. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Vassalize Thieving Arrow? Huh. That's weird that they would accept that. I mean, yeah, we can work on that, though. If I vassalize them, do I automatically get their things? Uh, dwarves and elves are not too dissimilar. Vanilla elves want to reclaim their past glories, which is dwarves, because they are stubborn creatures. They have too many time, too much time to dwell on things. General idea I glimpsed for various tags is that they loathe the loss of their super civilizations. To them, everything that is now subpar to the past, hence the religious fixation on the past, and the best way to reclaim former glory than past emulation. That's fair. No, my gold mine. Whatever shall I do? My economy! No! Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to develop these more to be able to build uh, manufactories. Like if they had temples and stuff, I'd delete the temples, but they don't. Also, do I have devastation somewhere in the mountains? Here. Yeah, get that built up. Oh, I have devastation here too. Lots of it. Okay. Well, we can't be having that. I would like prosperity, please. I mean, this will also help with our... Uh, our army tradition. So it's not a huge deal if I build more forts. I definitely want to have... Oh yeah, Marhold hates me. Way too much for me to vassalize them. Yeah, scorned by the High Lord. Wants my subject's provinces. Yeah, they're not interested. 
They're not interested in being vassalized. That's okay. I suppose we'll let them remain independent for now. Only because we're such nice people. I don't need that. I'm not taking tech early. That is for sure. Not this early. Uh, truce with Orla's Outlaws Deer is up in a couple of months. So let's get our guys ready to rock and roll. Go here. Go here. Go there. You go there. One, two, three. Man, what? Why? Why though? Well, you know what? Frick it. We're we're gonna try and get a mage air because damn, all these airs suck. They might as well do magic. Uh, student manpower, ten thousand men. That's fine. Supplies. Sure. I think we just send them off like this. They'll be fine. And if they're not, well, sucks to suck. Uh, as more grass arrive from around Halan, an expansion of all as Oral's facilities is in order. 10 legitimacy, 0.5 prestige, minus 5 max absolutism, 0.5 yearly prestige, plus 2 diffle rep, 15% improved relations. Uh, let's go ahead and curry favors here. And build a spy network up on Varmhar. Okay, so we'll probably go from this war into this one. It really sucks that they own all this, because now there's so much that's uncolonized. True heir of the Dwarvar win? As in, like, before 1571 own all the Dwarvar? I don't even know if that's possible. Not from a conquest point of view, but from a not everything's going to be colonized, probably, point of view. Uh, I'm a hard one in 15 provinces, in my nine opinion, but at Dwarven Tag, when my three dev piece of Dwarven Road is minus 200. Look, they really want that road, okay? Their uh, grandfather, 15 times back, once held a piece of land on that road, and so it's rightfully theirs. It's, it's rightfully theirs. You're being selfish right now, if you don't think that's true. <laughs> Uh, can I construct more buildings in this province? This building increased manpower by 2,273. Mm. We could get rid of the regimental camp here. Scammed? Literally scammed? Okay. Cool. I didn't want that regimental camp there anyways. I, I'm fine. Uh, hey, Brian. We're doing good. We're doing good. Valid Raven March? Okay. I don't care. How's Raven March gonna do? Ta da! All right, move out. Choking death, find a different path. I'm not too worried about everything about that. Uh, okay, it's development time. Do, 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 do. And I have, yep, okay. I mean, I should probably focus in on developing holds more, to be honest. So I can get them to the next level. Yeah. Yeah, but we need to build our manufactories here first. Get that to 50. That to 50. 
Use the mill here and then develop the rest with admin. Cool, that's 50. So now we can dig all of those. Uh, I do want to build the uh, you know, farm estate. Soldier's household here, at the very least, before we diggy diggy hole. Okay, uh, you go fight them. You just make your way up. Some 10,000 troops up there to carpet seat that down. This war is not... It's not anything. It's, it's a nothing war. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Farm estate? You know what? I will build that farm estate. I will do that. You go straight up for their capital, actually. Two, three, three, one. There. Improve thieving arrow. Yes, we need to continue improve thieving arrow. Uh, you're weird, bro. <laughs> You're weird for going through the deep woods to get to me. I'm just saying. That's a whack thing to do. You could have gone many other directions. You're like, nah, I'm going to go through the deep woods. I'm going to go through the deep woods. That's where I want to go. Who in their right mind goes into the deep woods willingly? That place sucks. <laughs> Man, only bad things happen in the deep woods. There's no good enough reason to go in there, except maybe money. Money's a pretty good reason. All right, take all that. It's all falling. You move over here. Deep woods is Ambanar, Brazil. In some ways, that's true. Okay, make your way down to Gorbaran. Okay, get that occupied. The rest of you move together and get ready for our next war. We max out on religious power. That we are. Okay, that's been taken. You need to walk in here and kill their troops. Again. This is like the fourth or fifth time, I think, that we've had to do this exact thing. Where we just chase them to the back of their cave, kill all their troops, and then walk away. Like nothing ever happened. Uh, who doesn't like to get lost in the deep woods for 40 to 400 years? Yeah, you know what? It's what all the cool kids are doing these days. It's what all the cool kids are doing. You can grab all that. You have your ramparts in? Yes. 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 Awesome. Then let's focus on upgrading marketplaces. We need to upgrade a marketplace on Omdir, but it's busy right now. Uh, that's a trading company. That's a trading company. Pretty sure this is in a trading company. Yes, it is. Build that one next. More goods produced. I like goods produced. Goods produced is, believe it or not, good. Is good. Walk there. Okay. Now all of the Serpent's Veil is converted. Um. I think I'd rather get the tunnels converted before the other stuff. And I'm assuming that we can do some culture conversion as well now. If I had more Diplo points. Okay. It's been taken. Do you have any troops, by the way? You do. You have 45,000 troops somewhere down here. Okay. Oh, I found them. Anyways, I started sieging. 
I started Siege because they, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to completely abandon their country. And I don't know what to tell them. Uh, digging holds is 20% faster. Yeah. How do you not choose that? How do you not choose that as dwarf? Not even a real dwarf, you choose another option. Okay, you make your way down here. Get these provinces occupied. Should have done that faster. Yeah, now they have troops here. Not a big deal, though. Alright. Uh, that should be enough to convince them to get out of here. Shoot. You're too much war score, man. Uh, you know what? That's okay. We'll just take these three provinces here. We won't be able to connect it up, but it's what it is. I'm gonna go there. You're gonna make your way down. You make your way together. Gorbarad, I would like your war reps. I would like your money. I would like to pillage your capital. I would like you to break your alliance with Orlazam Azdir. I would like you to transfer your trade. Okay, it's fine. I don't actually need you to transfer your trade power to me. Give me all that. Walk you guys up. I need to ally you. And proclaim a guarantee on you. Okay. Go there and you go there. Right. You guys need to make your way back down to these. Oh boy. Look at that. We now have our fort line here. We should probably build a fort here. Uh, how are we looking for our army tradition decay? Okay, we almost have enough from our forts. We need another one, though. I'm not worried about devastation out here. Where can I use a fort that's like useful probably here well no because it's blocked off by these two so I don't really hmm maybe there are forts I can upgrade yeah sure oh yeah look at that. all these are level two yeah we get these upgraded and we should get uh, max army tradition from forts would be nice. Uh, you don't need a marketplace. Don't need a marketplace. All right. Orlazam, Ozdir. Two, three, four, five. Take these from you. Thank you very much. Core it. And then from... From Cracked and Roar, I mean, I want their stuff outside first. I want them to break their alliance with Orlazam Azdir, because that's getting annoying. I don't think we're going to be able to get away with taking their hold. No, we're not. So we're going to have to take up to their hold, which is fine. You know, what? I'll just take this, because I don't want to go separate piece out Raven March. I just, I don't want to walk over here. Ah, nuts. I won't be able to full annex them next war. I'll get admin efficiency. <sighs> Man. Man. I don't even have access, bro. I'd have to go through the deep woods. Man. How am I going to get over there? Gwed won't give me access. Varmhar's not going to give me access. I don't have enough to steal maps yet. 
Damn. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take one last province. Sure. Big name. Crawl it up. And best part, no overextension. Okay, uh, so now we do the Varum Hard War. What's going to be the best way to go about this? He is most likely going to come in from the Deep Woods. Right? Vassal first? Ah, uh, true. True, true, true. Or the Zam Azdir wants access. How about no? How about no, I don't give you access. Okay, we influence them, and then... We just send them a gift. There we go. And then we can vassalize them. And then immediately scourge them, because they will die. There you go. They've accepted vassalization. Hey, uh. Hey, uh. Oh, the damn huge. <laughs> it didn't work. Maybe it's only if you forcibly vassalize them. Give it a minute. All right. Well, we're going to scourge him anyways. doesn't matter. Okay. Enact government reform. We could go for the assembly of holds to get our sweet, sweet dwarven parliament. Um, or we could go for the one that gets his diplo rep. Nah, we'll go for the parliament. We're dwarfs. You gotta go for the parliament. You have to. You have to. Just a requirement. Absolutism. We can get more absolutism. Okay, add our capital in. Absolutism decreased by 11. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, if we had any absolutism, it sure is gone now. Start a debate. Uh... Ooh, mercantilism, huge. Trade deficiency. Spy network gives us an extra diplomat. Culture conversion cost, actually not bad. Not like we have any diplo anyways. Four rights. Form progress. It does give advisor cost reductions too, which I mean, they're already basically free, but they could be more free. All right, and then we will manually hand out seats because I don't have any absolutism anyways. We're going to have to work on that. Very nice. Very nice. You get one. You get one. You get one. You're not stated yet, but you will get one. How many more do I need? A lot. Uh, at this point, though, the AI can just choose where they go. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. You're making so much money. So much money. Uh, more manufacturers. We we're making a lot of money, but we could make more money. All right, are we going to do this war now? Oh my God, Laurent will join me. Why? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why? Ah, your rivals. 
All right. Call you both in, and look at all that reconquest we could do. Uh, we're gonna go for Vorkokos then. Bum ba da ba 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 ba. War time. Which means we need more music. Been the horde curse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 We definitely have had the horde curse. All right. You go for the war goal. You go stand here. You go here. You go here. You make your way down. Oh, there they are. The sapphire and the diamond. Just had to wait a little bit. Uh, the northernmost region of the serpent spine dwelt the dwarves of Dur Vazatun, the brightest minds in all Dwarov. When the Dwarven Crown was forged, the Skywatcher sent the High King a great sapphire as a symbol of their regard, and it remained one of the brightest gems in that crown for many years. When the Dwarven Empire fell, the sapphire was lost, but found by Garen Orkrent, a Castellarian adventurer who took it with him to Abdel Ludum. That hole now owes allegiance to us, and the sapphire has therefore been handed over. Minus 2.5% idea cost. And the Diamond of Arg Ortsen. Faceted so masterfully that it seems to absorb and pulsate with light, this enormous diamond, also known as the Aegis of the Serpent's Reach, was the crown jewel of Argorston, and is said to exert a hold on those who gaze into its depths. Whether such true tales are true or false, it is undeniable that it has a storied history. As all Dwarov was being forged, Arg Ortsen pledged support and handed the Aegis over as a display of faith in the High King and the Assembly. It was lost after all Dwarov fell, of course, but was found by one of our loyal subjects and has been rightfully returned to us, its rightful owners. With the Aegis in our hands, our claim to rule the caverns of the Serpent's Reach will surely be uncontested. This gem makes my head spin. 10 prestige and plus 2.5% production efficiency. Yeah, also, remember, we're making this much money right now, but we have minus 30% production efficiency currently. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I can also give it my focus on goblins. Our production efficiency is at 22.5%, but it could be 30% higher. Uh, Goblin Titan Serpent's Rot. I'm pretty sure these guys already had the Goblin Tide. I'm pretty sure... I thought I saw somebody else having it. But Serpent's Rot does seem to happen. It's the one that destroys all the provinces in the Serpent's Spine. Didn't get all this at 1444. We got three at one time, though. I feel like that's got to be okay. How are our siege ticks looking here? Ah. This is going to be a long war. It's going to be a long, long, long war. Scorch that. Where do I even go? I guess I go for the deep woods first. Like. Do I go to the deep woods first? Or do I just try and cut a line straight to his core territory? But if I just go to a straight core territory, I can't really defend this. So I think I have to go through the deep woods. Damn. All right. Well. Let's get everything inside the mountains in this section. Occupied. And start to make our way out. I don't know if he'll walk through the mountains here. Oh, boy. Go, ahead, go with him. Uh... Resident Kid has 125 fist one. Farmhar has eight discipline on us, but less morale. It's gonna be a long war. No, we didn't lose like all that much. To be fair. To be fair. Oh my god. No, but going through the deep woods. No, no, we don't go through the deep woods. Because he owns all the teleporty bits and doesn't have a fort on any of them. Which means I would need to take... I need to get control over Veer Trona and Veer Sowell and then not let him walk there. Any cores and holes your CAD? Uh, no. No. 
This is tough. Not because, like, the war is going to be overly difficult or anything, but just because... What? You... I... The whole reason I allied you... Is Laurent at least in the war? Yeah. I even called you in, man. Here. Pay off your debt. And join my war. What do you mean, no? I just paid off your debt. Sir. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? You want more money? Here, pay off your debt, man. I'm I'm giving you the money you need. Thank you. Stupid AI. Why not promise land? Uh, I don't want to give him land. Next question. <laughs> I, I don't want to give him anything. No land for stinky Busolaris. Only land for really cool Poe Mews. I called in Segdir? Oh. <laughs> Great. At the very least, they might distract him. Okay. 31 days. All right, what if we just go glade by glade? We just siege down glade by glade. That way we don't overextend ourselves with, uh, well, overextend ourselves. Carpet siege him. He definitely has troops in the deep woods. Let's go grab this mountain. Why are the trees speaking elvish? No, 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 no. Not again, not again. It's all right. Look, I'm American. We know how to deal with these things. Uh, we got goblins in our nation, right? We could definitely create uh, tools. Tools to help us in this war. Yes, tools. Do you, though? Mm -hmm. We learned. <laughs> we've grown. We've adapted. Uh, we need 76% war score. That's going to be fun. Okay, 11 there, 11 there, 11 there, 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, 5 there. Uh, I want you to stay. Okay. They're up there. They'll ruin my prosperity, but that's it. Okay. Well, we don't know where his troops are yet. Which, you know, makes me a little nervous. He's got 264,000 of them, and we only see 47,000. So... I don't know. It looks like the rent does have access, though, so he can send his not a lot of troops over. What? Oh, he's in a different war. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll be busy for a while. All right. Whatever. Whatever. I would love to steal maps. I really would. But we're not going to be given that opportunity here. Which feels kind of bad. Feels kind of bad. There, there, there. Westham is elected emperor. Good for them. Go here. Our biggest threat is just like 
finding his troops in a place where we are not prepared to fight them. Okay, that siege has been taken. Oh, there's 50,000 of them. Uh, okay, we are way faster than I thought we were. I forgot that we have all the speed bonuses. <laughs> Oopsies. Well, guess we take a mountain or a hold fight. We won, so it doesn't matter. We won, so it doesn't matter. Uh, give me the Diplo rep from Karoslav. Thank you. That is a fort. Gonna send all your guys up there. And you're going to continue moving forward. You can split up and grab these two. Oh, hey, look, I found them. <laughs> I found where they went. I saw those 60,000 troops right there. Uh, you, you can't hide from me. I saw them. I know what's up. Ooh, where are you retreating to? Ooh, I don't like whatever's happening there. Okay, you're going to go grab these highlands, and I guess we're just going to send our troops down towards their capital. Ooh, Rip Segdir's troops. <laughs> Thanks for trying, bud. I appreciate the help. But maybe next time, a little bit more planning would become useful. Just saying. A little bit more forward thinking. Okay, deep woods. The deep woods have actually fallen much easier than I thought they would. You push up there. I do think it's because they had all their troops down here. Uh, manufacturing time. I love building manufacturers. I like money. The more money I can make, the more troops I can field. The more troops I can field, the more people I can beat up. The more people I can beat up, the more money I make. It's a simple circle. That is not nice. Uh, we're going to send this stack back to deal with them. And we're going to leave this guy here to hold the line. Uh, next spawn I want converted is you... Force religious unity, convert, no edict necessary. Stay there. What missions are we waiting on? Uh, all known, okay, in Western Kanor that has colonies. We needed them to like us. Well, Riveria. Has a colony. And Pearl's Edge has colonies. So let's improve with them. Give us a value. We need artificers for that one. We need to own Verkokozanad for this one. And I need to improve with electors and have at least four diplomats, which we will have four diplomats once that other. Uh, Other event ends. I can't remember what it is. It was like a 10 year event that took one of our diplomats. I don't know. When that's done, then we'll be good. Alright, smack those elves around. A 5 5 2 air. Yeah, I'll take that. About damn times we have a kid that's, you know, not incompetent. Uh, go there, go there. You siege that down, and then I guess we're gonna send this contingent into the Serpent's Reach? Start sieging down this stuff? Look at all those cores he has. We could even maybe give our vassal back some of his cores. Like Avdel Ludum and stuff. Could be worth it. Uh, tunnels of Woe, that's fine. Right, you make your way back over here. You make your way back over here. We'll have one stack that goes this way, one stack that goes this way. I mean, I'm still nervous he's going to bring all of his troops together, but, like, he hasn't done so yet. 
I mean, he's kind of screwing himself over. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but I'm just saying, maybe not the best planning from the elves here. Back to Bulwar. You always have to go back to Bulwar. There's no way to escape this God's forsaken continent. Every time I try and leave, every time I try and do something else, it's just back to Bulwar. Okay, you go there. Split up. <laughs> Truinic Separatists. Hey, Laurent. Bud. While I appreciate your help in this war, I'm not sure what standing in Javi Jog. I know I said that very wrong. Uh, I'm not sure what standing here is going to do. Yeah. Thank you, though, I guess. <laughs> Let him cook. I just simply cannot understand his big brain plays. That's all it is. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to come back down here because I'm going to take his capital. And I'm going to burn it because I am petty. And I like making the AI's life more miserable. Because they would do the same thing to me. They would burn it, but... They would make my life suck if they could. But they suck. And they're ugly. So they don't have a choice. Hold digging operations. Dig the hole. Dig the hole. Dig the hole. Dig the hole. Alright. You make your way back down to these guys. The expedition returns. Uh, just throw them in the manpower pool. I mostly just wanted to do it so it would leave me alone. Nice. I gain prestige, so we're gonna placate these guys. Oh, that's been taken. Uh, can I force you to return Grogier's Crack? Grogier's Crack. Where? Oh boy. Uh, sort by nation. Yeah, return that. And then return. Avdel Ludum as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And Argrod 10, too. Yeah. Give it back. And 11, too. Yeah. Deviant Arrow will grow larger. Uh, I found their armies. How much AE? Who cares? What are they gonna do? Who, who's gonna who's gonna do coalition against me right now? You know? Okay, I don't actually want to fight them in the mountains here. But I do want to catch them in these grasslands. Bye bye. Well, sucks to suck. Uh, you grab that siege and you grab that siege. <laughs> China will grow larger. China kind of far away from where we're at right now, but yeah. That's the idea. Uh, well, you get to lead the surface spike. <laughs> Congratulations. I know you just got to the surface reach and all, but... Well, I mean, the war's kind of done. Guys, I think we're a little strong right now. I ain't gonna lie. I I'm feeling like we're real strong. Real strong. Can I influence them? Yes, I can. Influence. And... Influence. Make them like us more. Uh, how many troops do they have left? 71,000. 
I saw a 50,000 stack running around at one point, but I don't know where it's gone. Let's go on a little expedition here. There's 16,000 of them. There's 32,000 of them. Okay. Well, in that case, let's say hello to all the inhabitants of Bulwar. Hello. I am here to say hello and occupy your lands. No big deal. We're about to max out on mill points. Hire a general. I can choose a new deity. Uh, siege ability sounds great, thanks. Not that we need it, but hey, it is funny. It is funny to siege faster. Okay, bring all of you back together here, and we'll attack this 16k stack. Uh, I'm not sure how we're only at 56% war score, but we are. I legitimately don't understand how we're only at 56% war score. We have most of his country occupied. So, what gives? And it's not like we don't own anything important either. We own his capital. We own, like, core territory. Not just deep wood stuff. Ooh, good thing we got out when we did. You're going to go here. You guys are going to group up here. That fort falls. Go grab this one. I think we stack wipe these guys. I don't even know. Wasn't really paying attention to it. Very few battles. Well, it's not war score based on battles. It's war score based on occupations. And currently, we're kicking his ass when it comes to occupations. Uh, encourage development here. Get you up to 40. Does that allow me to diggy diggy hole? Yep. Internet veer. Encourage development. Okay. Expand infrastructure. Should have done that beforehand. Uh, diggy diggy Mithridum. We should be digging more. I don't think I'm digging enough. You encourage development. I'm no longer going to be able to take Miltech on time. Huge, big brain plays. Huge, big brain plays, but it doesn't matter. Like, Tech 18 is, is important, but we're not going to fight anybody uh, until we get it. So it won't really matter. Okay. Uh, I guess grab the rest of this stuff. Sure. Just make sure it's all occupied by us. Why are you on high war enthusiasm? Even if there's one battle going on, why would you be on high war enthusiasm? That's that's crazy of you. <laughs> that is a little bit insane of you. When do they square the copper dwarf hold? Uh, that's in the bit bucket version. I really like it. I really like it. I'm not sure how I feel about this crossing right here, but I think for gameplay purposes, it, it makes sense. Um, if you had this dead end right here, that would make fighting these guys suck a lot, but at the same time it would make fighting these guys suck a lot. Um, well, that's when they squared it, to look like all the other holds. I think it's good. Oh, we got 53,000 here. Uh, let's bring some reinforcements over. Okay... Spread out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take that fight. Split you. Split you. Split you. Split you. Hope boat dwarves get a mission tree one day. Uh, be the change you want to see in the world. Make the boat dwarves mission tree. I believe in you. Okay. That's the wrong one. Need to be at least 125 opinion. Uh, Pearl's Edge, what can I do to make you like me more? 
I could bribe you. That's always a good option. I need at least 10 relations. Over 14, just because I'm feeling nice. And Reveria. We'll do the same thing. Okay, Shastun Deer has been taken. Yeah, you're... I'm afraid you're trapped. I'm afraid there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. This will be your final stand, and I will kill all your troops, because I don't want you to have them anymore. Uh, send gifts. Sure. That completes the Platinum Slave Trade. Our assimilation of the squatters in Air Vier has tremendously increased our supply of slaves, allowing us to fully capitalize on the Green Slave Trade. The colonization efforts of the rediscovered alien here call for a cheap and numerous labor force, an indentured labor force that we possess in droves. Let us entice the Canorians by showcasing the effectiveness of the enslaved masses. They will benefit greatly from the fruits of slave labor. Sure, yeah, sure, whatever you need to tell yourself. Wow, we gained 100 ducats from that. Huge. Uh, trade enough slaves to get the extra bonus. Well, uh... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're, we're solid on that. How fast do you need to colonize the Dwarvar as Vanale? Uh, I mean, it would take you a while to get there, but if you got there with all your bonuses, I mean, pretty fast. If you could keep up the manpower to survive it, because of all the natives that rise up. Vanale can colonize fast, because there ain't nobody here. <laughs> like, there's nobody on these islands, so it's free to colonize. Uh, I mean, once you start going over to more mainland alien tier stuff, you get natives, but out here, there's no one, so Vanale can just colonize and not worry about it. Uh, all right, we get mm, such wealth has consequences. No, it's only 19,000 crowns. Uh, we get 5% goods produced till the end of the game. And if we are the leading producer in slaves, we will gain an additional 5%. So we get 10% goods produced. Sure. Once we own Virko Kozenad, then it must be in the own whole is your CAD. I'm so sad that we're not going to be able to do this in one war. Didn't read mission? You're right. Uh, despite such high sales, our domestic production quotas are still met by the indentured masses we've retained from the platinum slave trade, which can mean only one thing. Our labor force is more efficient than we thought. Thanks to the ever-vigilant, ostentious overseers and the support of the platinum nobility, our hold will be able to indulge in a windfalls of profits from this discovery. All that is required is the consent of the High Lord, the pinnacle of the nobility, the Lord of the Masses. Okay, we also, we can pre-develop all of these provinces, Turret Gorge, Old Doom Pass, Haraza Depths. Get ready for that? The 30 years. Both dwarves are getting these things. It's time to sail the high seas and get that booty. Bulwar has fallen. Many non dwarves and non humans must be purged. Okay, guys, these goblins and orcs are all around. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I hope the boat dwarves are more focused on taking islands. It's less of a, a blobby mission tree and more of like a story based one. I think that'd be cool. All right. Are you willing to peace out? Resicans on medium more enthusiasm? Huh. Our leader's now calm. Cool. Get the asses. End them. Execute order 66. It's so Jover for them. It's so Jover. Yeah, where are you going to go? Wait a second. <laughs> what do you mean you got you have somewhere you can retreat to? You cheaters. Where do you think you're going? I'll chase you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Sorry. Ends of Halan. First not a thing. Every island to hold. It would be interesting. I don't know how you'd pull it off, but it'd be interesting. 
Like, their whole thing could be about defeating the, uh... The pirates in Nathalair, the gnolls that keep raiding coastlines. And they can create, like, a super mega dwarven navy that protects the Divinhall Sea. Like, maybe your goal is to take Everthil eventually to own trade and stuff within the Divinhall. I don't know. It could be interesting. Uh, let's go for you because you're cheaper. Is the music loud? The music feels loud. Oh, yeah. Felt a little loud. Uh, all of you can group together. 83% war score. You still say no. That's fine. The Divin Hall Trench. Dig a hole at the bottom of the sea. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe you're onto something here? That sounds like a dwarf fortress run. Ah, uh, good old dwarf fort. <laughs> Alright. You guys walk through. And you are willing to peace out now. Thank you very much, Coalition. Who cares? All right, immediately begin colonizing. Oh, I have one colonist. Okay, well, this is the most important one. Uh, core all up. Beautiful. We're going to have to convert that relatively soon. Okay. We can diggy diggy hole in Omdir. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Also, our vassal is now much larger. And much better. Okay, we're going to placate them twice. And then we're going to royal marry them to keep them loyal. Segdir is coming to a war skewer drake. That's fine. I won't help, but I will answer the call to arms. Uh, age ability, we're going to go for yearly absolutism here. I know that I want to take the uh, ammo efficiency one, but for now, we'll play it a little smarter. The King's Men. Ah, this is the event that took away our diplomat. The effort has paid off. Fending off extensive wordplay and navigating the remnant halls has given us insight into how to better conduct ourselves. The High Lord will surely benefit from this gleamed knowledge. Speak softly and carry yourself with distinction. Anyways, that's not, how this, that's not how the quote goes. That's not how the quote goes. Uh, we get a new tier 3 government reform, which gives minus 0.5% near the army tradition decay, minus 10% cost of advisors to the ruler's culture. Oh, so it's like this one, but better. But it gives the nobility influence, so maybe not better. Uh, and then gives us one diplo point as well. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, take admin tech to keep our inno, and we unlock another idea group, which we already know needs to be diplomatic. Will Seg cut you off from Jorkad? Uh, it's possible. Hey, dog, that alliance is not going to last. I'm just going to let you know that right now. You know what? We'll just max out right now here. And we're sitting on just absolutely crazy amounts of cash right now. Absolutely insane, nutty amounts of cash. Build my universities. All the dwarves will be so smart. They will read so good, and they will do math, and they will... Um, that's it. That's all I got. They'll, they'll know how to read, and they'll do math, and that's pretty good. Do math? No. No, math. Math, not math. Don't do math, kids. It's bad for you. That's right. Koi Mew hitting you with the, the important tips. Don't do math. It's also illegal, if you didn't know. Uh, irrigation's already fixed. We done did fix it. We done did fix it. You're going to move there. You guys get back to drilling. Please. You need to be on our capital for a mission eventually, but it's not for a while. OK. 
Okay. Colonize over limit. You want me to spend extra money, bro? What? Why would I do that? Why would I want to spend money like that? Uh, this needs to be converted. I think I just saved my missionary to convert it. Straight up. You are rich? Okay. And so I'm supposed to just start wasting money? Fine. There are expeditions over there? <laughs> you know, I don't think we need the expeditions at this point. I think we're doing all right. Considering we are... Uh, quickly approaching economic hegemon here. I think we'll be okay. Think we'll be all right. Uh, I need to start improving with the electors, I guess. My deal rep does have to be at least five. Wait, Xmas is an elector? Gross. All right. Improve relations with Exwis and Moonhaven has eaten Istralor. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> uh, and improve relations with you as well. Rep Segdir Alliance. Why? Because they allied these guys? Nah, they'll break it. They'll break it. They'll get over it. Yeah, that's fine. Core that. I'm not building the Marhold Tunnel. No matter how many times you ask me, game, I'm not building the Marhold Tunnel. It's not going to happen. Uh, Yeah, go for the Leather Cannons. Oh, need Segni then? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just kill him then. Seize land? Crown land time? Crown land time. Hey, I forgot that we switched our tier three government reform, which means that, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, rebels will now rise up when we revoke land. So that's cool. I done did forgot about that one. That's my bad. Uh, yeah, we can threaten war on them, break alliance, threaten war. Not a huge deal. Um, we can also just take it off of them when we fight Orlazam Azdir. We can wait until after our next war with Varmhar. Which is going to suck. It's going to suck to fight Varmhar again. I'm so smart. I'm so incredibly smart. Convert this first. State it up. Expand infrastructure. Force religious unity. 101 months. Well, might as well get started on it then. Because it ain't going to get any easier. Manpower. Sure, you can have manpower. I don't care. All right. Well... I guess it's time to... Here's what we'll do. I think we just save a bunch of Monarch points here. Except for Diplo points. And when our cartels are loyal again, somehow. Not sure how that'll work. Oh, never mind, actually. I was going to save it to build a bunch of manufactories, but... Okay, we don't have a lot of temples around, which is good news. Yeah, very few temples. Hold that. Trade Depot, no. Just trying to make more money, that's all. Uh, stayed up these roads. For sure. Am I over my government capacity? No. New, new, new. 
Once those are stated up. Oh, the rail's already repaired. Never mind. How? Did Varmhar repair the rails? I guess they might have. They must have. I don't know how else it would get repaired. State that up. State that up. We need to save admin points to full core this. That'll make the conversion go faster. Is the dwarf who's developed a magnificent tunnel truly even a dwarf? It is. It is when they threaten to steal all of my money. <laughs> Look, greed is more important than digging. Come on, I think we can agree on that, right? Greed more important than digging a hole. We can just dig a hole somewhere else. Plus, that hole goes sideways when real dwarves dig down. Just saying. Over different relations limit? All right, well. It's been real seg, dear. I married them, didn't I? I did. Meh. Give me factories to march so they get more troops for us? Well, I don't have a march. Uh, and also, both of my vassals are scourged. So, I don't need them. I don't need them. Unnecessary. Go. Oh, that's cord. Stable government. Yeah. Uh, wine and glass. The Lincorian and Lennox are at it again. Well, I will once again uh, tell the Laurentish they're better. Ooh, cheaper ships. Huge. Or military tech cost. Huge, cheaper ships. Massive, even. Let's go. Uh, Laurent, still not sure what your plan is, bud. You're, you're still sitting over there. Goed is legitimately going to win the Wars Consolidation. They won't, like, win it, but they'll win it. They've cut me off from going to war with Counts League. Raven March has gotten larger. They just keep, they just keep going. I suppose they're allowed to do that. Okay, how are we doing with the whole... What's our Diplo rep looking like? A solid 4.8. Strength in government, and we're up to a solid 5. Now I see the electors to like me more. Uh. Oh, or the emperor just had to like me. Well, I mean, whatever. We're already almost there. Wait, or is it both? Hold on. One of the following must be true. All of the following must be true. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of scuffed. I'm not going to lie. The line spacing is really messing me up. Uh, Exus. Get influenced. Moonhaven. Get influenced. Shoot. I also need the Emperor to like me. Dang it. I done goofed. I done goofed. Well, that's going to be hard because I can't influence him, can I? No, I can. The Emperor's not even a great power. Sure. There you go. He doesn't like me because he's rivaled... Oh no, allied to rival. Oh, he's allied to Booslar. I thought he was allied to Laurent. Which, by the way, Laurent is in the Empire. They've taken Imperial land. Varmahar is huge. Yeah, but we just kicked their ass. They're nothing. Paper tiger. Paper. Paper elf. Paper elf. It is a nice Raven March. It is. Uh, we can celebrate a festival. Yay! Uh, we do communion. We get a little bit of money. All right. Next one. Next one. Laurent's still chilling out here, by the way. Oh, I'm throwing. Uh... 
Get rid of that university. Get rid of the trade depot. I don't care. Give us a shipyard. Let's go. The Navy shall grow larger. Navy shall grow larger. Yeah, you don't like me. You don't like me. You don't like me. There's nothing that any of y'all can do about it. I could just call in Laurent to beat up Goed. Just for fun. Is there any reason for me to do that, though? Funny. It's a pretty good reason. I need to eat cracked and roar for this. Okay. Uh, when's that truce up? That is up in 28. We got some time. Real question is whether there is any reason not to do it. You know what? That's a good point. Laurent is busy attacking Sestier Mark, but he has plenty of troops here. Hey, go ahead. You suck, and I hate you, and you're ugly, and... Uh... End of sentence. End of sentence. We will hopefully give our vassal here all of Castanath in this war. Because he does need it for his mission tree. And if we can do some of his missions, well, then why not, right? Doesn't hurt anybody. Well, except for Gawed, but Gawed doesn't count. <laughs> You know, what's Gwen going to do? Complain? Meh. Uh, how else can I get you? I don't want to proclaim a guarantee on you, that's for sure. If someone attacks the Empire, I do not want to defend you. No, no, no. No, sir. Not in my interest. Not at all. Not one single bit. You know what is in my interest, though? More buildings. More, more buildings, governing capacity, money, whatever you want. I just need more stuff. More stuff, more things. Zoom. You're welcome. You are welcome, vassals. I shall build things in your country. For I am a great and grand overlord. And together you each give me one whole ducat. Woo! <laughs> Yay! One ducat! Wow! What a great deal! I mean, if anything, I should just build a bunch of temples in their land, because then they make more tax money, and then I get more money off the tax. But, but, we'll be nice, and we'll give them good economies for some reason. I don't know. Uh, have you moved your capital back here? Yes, you have, and you're fixing it. Awesome. Force them buildings. But again, they're not, like, joining our wars. They're just chilling. So, why? You know what I'm saying? Go there, you go there. Laurent. I'm glad that Laurent has to deal with them this time, actually. Last time was it was me, this time it's their turn. There we go. No longer a problem with Diplo relations. My turn to siege down Goed for free. Yeah. Yeah. Give me all this land. It's all rightful Poe Mew Clay. Now you may be asking yourself, how? How is this rightful? Uh, I said it was mine. Therefore, it is. Duh. Seems easy to me. How much force limit does each vassal give you? Nothing significant at this point. Like, I'm almost... Uh, I, I gotta build more troops. I gotta build more troops. 
Gotta get up to that force limit. Troll minister. I uh, don't care. Army tradition. Yes, please. Ooh. One hundo. Uh, force limit from vassals. I get 2.6 from thieving arrow and 2.3 from hammer home. Huge. Can I who controls ask the words consolidation? Uh, it doesn't actually consolidate. As far as I know. It's split into a couple of tags. I think there's like two orc tags. Uh, and then a couple of the adventurers end up succeeding. But it never consolidates under one person. Because that would be insane. And they would be incredibly strong. And at that point they would just conquer everything. Uh, Amy you wanted to be a general? All right. It's been really embarrassing when you get like seven pips though. I'm just saying. Four, 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 one. Not bad. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. Conquer towards tomorrow and build a tunnel. No! <laughs> no! I'm not building the tunnel. No! My trade value is mine. I don't want to give it to anyone else. Why? Are you all just like spies or something? Do you work for Eskin Nations that just want to steal all my trade? Like, what's going on here? What's going on? Why do you all want me to open that tunnel so badly, huh? Hmm? 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 Interesting. Have you checked the AI built it yet? They can't. They are poor as hell. They are super poor. There ain't no way. Wait, did we finish converting this? No. We're almost there. You can build it from Marhold now? Yeah, but like, he's super poor. He doesn't have the money. If we look at... Uh, we're going to double check this. Economy. Income. Where can I see... Where can I see how much money they have in the bank? I can remember this. Score comparison, government, here, yeah. If we look at, I spelled Marhold wrong. Marhold has a solid 121 ducats in the bank and they make 2.41. They need 3000 ducats to fix it. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. Now, if someone else gets it, that will be a problem. <laughs> they're getting close. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're so close. <laughs> they're so close right now to being able to uh, to take it. True, 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 true. True, 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 true. Guard fort has been taken. Go grab this. You deal with our Grumbari rebels like you're supposed to. Grab these couple of provinces and the rest of you. Meet up around here. There go. Lorenta is actually getting pushed back, I think. Which is insane of them. Like, do they have a lot of troops in Sesteronde? Like, what's... Or Sestiermark? I can't even see. But, like... You think? Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Mix is dead. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. They have cores, bozos, L, L, L. Ooh. No one has colonized Carnell yet. Kind of weird, not going to lie. Because people definitely have the reach to get there. It's like the last place that's not colonized. Well, other than in the mountains. Because freaking elves had to get involved and stop the colonization processes. Okay, how much does Westham currently like me? Not a lot. You hate the Magisterium. You know what? I do too. Magisterium sucks. 
My Diplo rep needs to be at least five. Magic feast time. There we go. Well, what now? <sighs> there. Are you happy? Yes. The meeting between the Goetti and Lencori failed spectacularly, but their presence in our court has drawn the eyes of a far grander realm. The Empire of Ambinar has an extensive history behind it, the entity having existed in several forms near the Dame's Head for millennia before becoming a decentralized empire composed of princes and electors from many races. While our bold act is still fresh on the Kenorian's mind, we will send delegations and missives inviting the Emperor of Ambinar and his retinue of prince electors. As we conduct trade with the Kenorians, it is natural that we must interact with the Empire of Ambinar at large. The decentralized state of the Empire is a marvel in and of itself, of a representation of races and cultures throughout the continent. We have managed to entice the electors and even the Emperor to participate in our assembly of lords. Here we are able to exchange gifts and ideas freely with the Emperor and his princes, granting our court imperial legitimacy as a consequence. Demerian tea pairs extraordinarily well with Orlazam lamb. Till the end of the game, minus 10%. Diplo tech cost. All dwarven nations in the serpent spine will lose 20 prestige and suffer minus two diplo rep for 10 years. Okay, and now. We need Corvuria and Eshenionde to like us. But Corvuria does not exist. They are super dead. So it's just Eshenionde that we need to improve with. Easy enough. I can handle that. Okay. Like at this point, what are we What are we doing here? Grab that. Uh you autonomous siege. Yes. Do the autonomous sieging. The button that I definitely like to use. That's definitely a good button. Yes. Autonomously siege these things. Go for it. Have fun. Uh, you go there. You go there. You core all that up. It's almost done converting. Yep. It sure is. Orko Kozanad needs to be my... Wait, is Virgo Cousin that damaged? It is. And to repair it... Maybe a piece. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. Grab all that. Wait, aren't you like just... No, you're not just infantry. Okay, we've gotten all these forts, so you actually go for their capital. You split up into stacks of 14. I don't really want to go smaller than 14. Just because I don't know where his troops are. At this point. Where's that? Go. Rye Castle has fallen. You're going to go down here and grab this fort. Lead breaker separatists. We'll deal with those on our way home. There, go there. Uh, if you're kind of asking, you might as well conquer deep woods. Uh, true, and you know what? If we're conquering the deep woods, like Canor is just right there. They're right there, you know. And, and when you think about it, Bulwar is not that far either. Like we'll be right next to it when we take Holzer Cat. And then right next to Bulwark, well, I mean, <laughs> Rahan's just sitting there waiting to be taken. All I have to do is fight Buvari in command in their, their ultimate forms. <sighs> poor uniforms. How do we have poor uniforms? <laughs> like, you know, look, I get it. It's, it's a random pulse event. There's no reason to think about it too deeply. How do we have poor uniforms? We're the richest country on the planet. How? We have we have holds full of cloth. Okay? Full of it. 
How? How, 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 how? We don't have silk. That must be the answer. We gotta kill the centaurs for silk. It's the only option. Uh, one tag, one culture, one religion time. <laughs> Funny. Funny joke. I ain't doing that right now. I don't have any place to do that for a while. Not for a while. Probably not until the official Sarhal stuff is out. That's probably when I would want to do uh, that. Not like right away. Don't don't take that as like gospels. Like that's what we're gonna do. But any humans you're considering, as in for like our next run? Uh, yeah, there's some. There's some I'm definitely looking at. Uh, I've been trying to figure out ways to combine them. Like, I'd like to get Unity, every race integrated. The problem is that right now it doesn't carry over between Bitbucket versions for your achievements. So, like, I'll have to reload saves of runs to be able to get the achievements back. Should play Buvari so you don't hear your phobia of them? Oh, it's not a phobia, it's a deep seated hatred. Yeah. Easy to get confused. But no, I don't fear them, I hate them. I hate them with a fiery passion. Tell them, look, I mean, you do have to do a tell them world conquest, but I feel like just doing the world conquest part with tell them is hard enough, right? Like tell them is not built to do world conquest. They've got terrible ideas for that. I was gonna look, but tell them is dead. More proof. More proof. You're not allowed to tag change them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm aware you're not allowed to tag change. That's why it's it's hard enough. If you could tag change just tell them, then you just go like tell them into Castanor, right? Something like that. But uh, yeah, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. Hey, go ahead. What are you up to, bud? I hope you're having fun. I'm having I'm having so much fun. Like this is the I feel like I'm fighting the lake fed again. Oh, I missed a spot. My bad. Let's make sure we go clean that up. We wouldn't want people being unoccupied here. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Stop asking me to build the Marhold tunnel. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. We need to finish Sleepy Dwarves. True, we do have to go back and do Sleepy Dwarves. We gotta do Command again. Like, there's a lot of things we need to do still. Alright. A lot of things we still need to do. Uh, go there. Yeah, Sleepy Dwarves, Command. We have to uh, do the Raj, too. I believe it's been fixed. Sleepy Dwarves, that's uh, these guys. Right here. Burkle Dromek. I've played them before, but uh, <laughs> we lost. No, we have not returned the command. That's not what we have to do. Okay, we're we're done using autonomous sieges. <laughs> it was a funny funny bit, funny bit. Sure, uh, we're gonna actually like you know siege things down now, where it won't take ten years to do so. Uh, yeah. Go spread out. Cool. I decided when you complete every dwarf tag mission tree, I'll never meme you again. That's a, that's a lot though. That's a lot of mountain gameplay. That's a lot of mountain gameplay. Right, go there and there. Make your way around. Make your way around. At this point, this is... This is really just bullying. Go help them. Ooh, hey, that's a lot of dudes right there. Yeah, those troops are super dead. Super dead, super dead, super dead. Okay... Like, where are they going to retreat to?
<laughs> found him. I found the answer. Wow, look at that. Just like that, we did the siege. Apparently I can call in Busselar. It's a little late, bud, but thanks for offering, I guess. Are they going to retreat through here? Yeah, they sure are. I want all Gwedge troops to be dead by the end of this war. Or at least most of them. He's got 100,000 troops over here. One hundo thousand troops just chilling. Uh, hey, MW. What's going on? Oh, we're just beating up Gawed. That's it. Have a nice little, nice little war here while we wait for our relations to improve with Eshenionde. Which we should probably do that mission before we peace out. Otherwise, well, they probably won't be too thrilled with me. None of these really matter. So the reform progress. Uh, what's this hold do? Slavery. I need seven dip wrap. My God. Uh, okay. Five. Advisor gives me six. How close are we to the next? Yeah, we'll be good. We might just have to sit on this war for a little bit, but that doesn't hurt me at all. Sure does hurt Goed, though. is always satisfying to watch you just sit here you just watch him delete his troops hold on pause I don't want to miss it keep relations maxed <laughs> uh, I don't even have to fight him I don't even have to fight him They just can't afford troops. They can't afford them. They're broke. Done diggity darn broke. All right. We'll put them out of their misery. Okay. Well. Let's uh, get the heck out of here. Go get that siege back, and yeah, the rent can take care of those caverns. It's fine with me. Uh, we are saving up this money. Not sure what I'm going to save it for exactly, but we're saving it, I guess. You get converted. I don't want them to take this fort. Preferably, you stick around just in case. And we'll just sit here and watch Gwed go bankrupt. Mr. Province. <laughs> Your person is all gradual, not just at once. Yeah, AI can't handle deleting all troops at once. They might specifically tell the AI that they can't do that, because, I mean, could you imagine <laughs> AI deleting all their troops at once? That would be a little terrible to deal with. Do they delete their boats at all? Because there ain't no way they can afford those boats right now. Ain't no way. Do you have any allies? Oh, look Look what Bozo didn't get a claim on Cracked and Roar. With the why they would just bring their entire army after every door. Yeah, see, <laughs> I don't think they'd allow them to do that anymore. 
Uh, it didn't work. That was not not great. Funny, funny, but not great. Uh, yeah, we all go back to Castanath. And we just chill. We just chill. Hold dig. Can I dig my capital any farther, or is it bottomed out? No, it's only level 9. No, we can absolutely develop this more. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep in capital, please. Uh, I don't want to dig Virgo Kozenak because we need to repair it. That is one argument to get out of the war. Uh, argument B, though, I can continue to bully Goet. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, until 1630. Okay, we need to speed 5 then. Uh, go ahead and improve with neighboring countries as well. Make everybody like us. Use magic, you rich. Uh, make the rent like us again. What do you mean use magic? We have our, we have magic done, if that's what you're saying. We have the spell out and about. It's a Diplo rep one. Uh, is there anywhere safe for these guys to stand? Yeah, there. Go. 92%. 99%! That was the longest siege we've had in a long time. <laughs> 201 days. Kobolds, they're built different. Kobolds just be built different, I guess. Uh, Anvilind is the only option we have. So I guess we go with her with the... Oh, actually, no. Karoslav gives us a Diplo rep. Then we'll go Anvil in here. The Flourishing Court. Uh, 10 Legitimacy, plus 1 Yearly Prestige, plus 2 Diplo Rep, 20% Improved Relations. That gives us 6 Diplo Rep. And all we need is an advisor now. And we can get to 7. There we go. Uh, Chenayande. Here is a little bit of cash for you. Here we go. Strangers in the night. Alm Az Orals is not only the facilitator of discussions, deals, and petitions, the spreading of hearsay is also prevalent. One particular rumor has caught the attention of the nobility immortality. It is said that there are some among the courts of Kanar who seemed almost timeless, a consequence of being long-lived but not a characteristic seen in humans. Our interest is piqued. We must delve further into these speculations. Perhaps even the High Lord can benefit? What? As we mingle with the upper crust, we have learned to see behind closed faces and still tongues. Alm as Orals exchanges business from the minor merchant dispute to state secrets privy to only a few. It is no wonder, then, that a race as long-lived as us is able to see through facades and false masks. A few among the plethora of guests carry the same bearing we have seen among the other long-lived despite being human. It only takes a few sips of Lincori wine mixed with Dwarven Ale to get their tongues loose. The true players hide in the dark. Uh, Eteneande loses 200 opinion of me. They lose 30 prestige. We are now well advised. We gain 10 permanent power projection. Is that going to get rid of Greedy? You lied to me. Because we're immortal, we don't get the new trait. Scammed. Absolutely scammed. Okay. Uh, we can peace out now. Alright, go ahead. I need... Kastanath. Uh, what else does my vassal need? <laughs> You're gonna need forts there. Everything in the Trial Mount area. Okay, I need all this. Um, one of the finals be true. Owns Kugdir, or Kugdir's opinion of Hammerhome is 150. 
Well, I suppose that's where the mystery ends. Yeah, and then you want to move over this direction. Meh, what are they going to do? There we go. Uh, I will win the Reclamation Wars. <laughs> no, here you go. Here you go. I don't need this land. I got this for you because I'm a good overlord. That's right. I'm kind and I wanted you to have this gift. I don't think I can give them all this land. I think it's going to overextend them. Yeah. That's right. We'll just raise autonomy and then we'll give it over to them. Hey, raising autonomy lowers absolutism. I'm so smart. Formalize the separation of powers. Stab two and have a statesman. By enacting limited constitutional reform, defining and delimiting the offices and branches of government and their internal relations, we can increase our administrative efficiency as well as public approval of our still obviously divinely ordained rule. Okay. 3% parliament debate backing chance, 0.5 yearly prestige. Cool. We can restore Verkul Kozdad. And we can restore Durabasitun. And I can expand administration, so it could have been faster. It's fine. Do that. Uh, send these guys home. Send you home. Send everybody home. We're still colonizing. We're doing good. Governing capacity is once again becoming a problem. Porgir's Valley, we can lower that. Long Neck Cave, we can lower that. Sure. 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 Yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't know. Uh, just build things, man. All this manpower that we can have. Sure. I like manpower. Do you like manpower? I like manpower. 400,000 is simply not enough. <laughs> Boys and Gwena matches. Warn me now! That's right. That's right. That's what they get. That's what they get. For warning me in the early game. I could take Miltech early, but I don't want to. Would rather... Get these holds ready to be developed. Five, okay, let them stay home. Another conversion, sure. Lost armory, 30 mil points, that's great. Uh, so for our missions, I think we're just waiting on artificers. We need to start, we need to start developing these provinces. Raj collapse, let's go! Dak is free! And then he immediately allied the Raj, okay, well. Maybe not what I would have done. I, I probably would have gone about it differently. But you know what? That's okay. You do you, do you Chain Grasper. Dak would have never done that, though. 65. Oh, yes. Thank you. I was missing an army. I was missing a whole army. Not good. Not good. Uh, let's drill. Let's try and get to 100% professionalism. Mithridum has been dug. Awesome. Rent wants money? Sure. Even though you're... You you were all poor boys. Jesus, that was loud. Uh, Duker's mom, thank you for the 11 months. Almost one whole year. Almost one whole year. Thank you. Uh, adventures in the army or battle mage? Uh, neither. Is that an option? Are you talking about heroes in the army? I mean, losing yearly professionalism and increased general cost... Unless you really need that morale, not worth it. Straight up not worth it. Um, Battle Mage Academies for one military point a month and 1% yearly arbitration decay. Unless you really need the Battle Mage Mercenaries, not worth it. It's not reliable enough in my experience to use it. 
Like, you're not going to get War Wizards that often. But definitely not heroes in the in the army. Losing 1%. I mean, if you're going for, like, a full Merc run, it's not that bad. So if you're, like, Halflings, then heroes in the army is not a terrible thing. Though it does lower adventure loyalty a lot. Because uh, you're not going to have professionalism anyways, and so it's pretty good. But other than that. What was your bit crap or shock overtaken by fire? Yeah, but like in the early game, having a war wizard can win you wars. Let me ask this one she can have either without the penalties to professionalism or mill points and tradition. Oh well, I mean that changes everything. Uh probably heroes then. A solid 10% morale of armies and plus one land leader maneuver is better than maybe getting a war wizard. Right? Time to kill Counts League? Why? 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 We're just chilling. We're just chilling. I'd rather spend money on my own country, but I'm running out of things to build. Not a problem I thought I'd be having. Uh, I need to develop my roads more. Here's the problem with developing my roads, though. Uh, why would I develop roads when I could develop holds? <laughs> The group picked the wrong option. They were Tim Pete. Didn't know the start. I mean, it's not a huge deal. You know, it's not like it's going to hurt you. And if you do end up getting a, a mage, then it'll be fine. Be good. Take Marhold. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want it. I don't need it. Look, they're gross coronites. I'd have to convert it. I want to feed this to Hammerhome, if anything. So, so rather late game since you need a university. Ah, gotcha. All right, Orlazam Ozdir. Oh, you've re-allied Cracked and Vor. Great, 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 great. All right, well, let's do that war. Uh, you go up to Cracked and Vor. You go over here, and I'm not gonna co-belligerize Orlazam Ozdir this time. We'll just break their alliances. I don't want to fight. Raven March, Segdir, and Gorbarad for this. It's not worth it. I don't need his land that badly. All right, you. I can hand you another province. There you go. War games. 2,000 monies. 12, 13,000 manpower for 5% professionalism. And for 10 years, I get... 1% army professionalism? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, build a fort. Build a fort. I guess he needs it for his mission tree. Grab that Diplo rep. We are so diplomatically reputationing. Truly one of the most diplomatic reputationers in the world. Uh, Cracked and Vor, you are here to die. So sorry. But I need your land for my missions. So you've got to go. You've got to know when to um, fight the dwarves. Know when to not fight the dwarves. Doesn't, really, doesn't quite go the same. There's your capital. It's up there. 31 day siege trick. Hey, you want to know where they are? <laughs> Back over there again. Uh, you know what? You go deal with the rebels because they can't deal with them themselves. They are incompetent. Go kill Cracked and Vor's troops. Get the rest of it occupied. Uh, if you gave Kugdir to hammer home for mission, then seize it afterwards, I could do that. But then I'd have to recore Kugdir. And it's 80 development and a very deep hold. And then it would also get rid of my center of trade. Level 3, I'd have to re-upgrade that. And, like, I have money, but that doesn't really seem worth it. I don't really care about their mission tree all that much. We're not going to do their mission tree, so I'm just giving them stuff. Because they'll, they'll get some benefits from it, so I might as well. 
But I'm not actually going to conquer all of Eskin for them. That's insane. Plus, yeah, it's, uh, it was our first slave hold. We can't... <laughs> can't get rid of that. The nobles would be up in arms. The nobles mean chat, of course. Okay, Orlazama's deer. Go ahead. Break your alliance with Gorborad, Crack the Rage Rage March, and Segdir. Thank you. You, on the other hand, are so, so very almost dead. Jesus, man. How? <laughs> you have so much development. Fine. You get to hold on to your little cave. Punks. There you go. Uh, send one army to guard this hold because I always let rebels take it because I forget about it. So this time, we're going to change things up. We're gonna put the rebel stack. Choose break it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, age ability. I don't know. Cheaper forts. Why not? Can I lower autonomy anywhere? No. Okay. If I don't show subject revolts, we have like none. You will need to go out and deal with these most likely. Why does my capital have unrest? Oh. <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. We have a <laughs> have a couple of uh, minority groups there that are not necessarily accepted, and that does cause some unrest. Yes, that would in fact do that. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yep, yep, yep. Never mind. I take back my statement. Uh, you have a trade depot. You have a trade depot. You don't, but I don't really care. Okay, well, what do I spend money on now? I... Oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I guess it's more university time. Time to get smart. Very smart. Oh, uh, you know what? Subjects, you can also be smart. Congratulations. No! Tech cost. Minus 10% dev cost. Sure, 16%. Lose three sailors? No, bro, what are we gonna do? Three sailors? You know what? You are heroes. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> Not the sailors, no! <laughs> my mercantilism? No, I can't give up my mercantilism. That's too far. That's too far. I thought these were all supposed to unlock the, like, the rest of them that are the same thing. Am I missing something? Wow, another three sailors. Man, they really did not like this option. There you go. Didn't want to take a loan. Uh, not the Navy. Speaking of the Navy, uh, our boats are, are here, and they're so ready to go. Protect sea. Yeah, look at them. Uh, Mithridum Hold Specialization. Uh, we already have a Foundry Hold. Like, yeah, technically the Foundry Hold's nice here. We're going to go for an Artisan Infrastructure, though. Just because it's different. Just because it's different. And it gets us goods produced on Mithril. Which I like. I like goods produced on Mithril provinces. Dubious spending practices? Yeah, we'll we'll take the corruption. We'll be able to pay it off. Uh, build a spy network on Varmhar to prepare for our next war with them. Um... 
Diggy Diggy Brickle Bascron. Uh, is there anything else I can build in Brickle Bascron? I don't remember which one it is. It's... This one. I mean, yeah, I can build a temple. A little trade depot. Regimental camp. So no, there's there's nothing here. It's super important for me to build. It's six months. It's six months to build this temple. Just build it. Just build it. Not a big deal. We can almost do our faith power as well. Another general bites the dust. Drill, 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 drill. We can keep an eye on him. Uh, I don't really want to lose his stability, I'm not going to lie. I like my three stab. There we go, there's monthly mill. 200, we can do a ritual flourishing platinum settlement. Uh, where, where, where is this? Here? I mean, sure, you might as well get the free temple. It's not going to give us anything because it's 85 autonomy, wrong religion, wrong culture, but whatever. It's a free building. Ooh, free diplo wrap. Uh, I'm all muddled advice. Alma as orals facilitates both the exchange of dialogue and the airing of grievances to all in attendance, allowing for the High Lord to act as a mediator. Unfortunately, today hosts the latter with two of our trusted advisors, setting numerous wrongs committed by the other. Such squabbling is unbecoming for our fair court. We must somehow end this feud impartially to avoid grudges. A coin toss should suffice. Oh, so it's just like a, it's like a bad radical reforms. Cool. I can kick them both out. Hey, get the hell out of here. I'm gonna hire new ones. I don't care. <laughs> what, you think you're special or something? You, you think, like, I care if you work here or not? No. Get the hell out of here. Don't need any of you. Westham is apparently reelected. And Vorkal Kozanad has been restored, which completes mission. Fickle Opal. Ah, the capricious hold of Vorkal Kozanad, the hold of low lives and imbeciles obsessed with fate. Our ancestors viewed the hold with much disdain and for good reason. The Opal Dwarves' fickle nature and disregard for integrity made the hold rather arbitrary during Almharaz debates or clan feuds. That is, if neither side bribed their upper echelon. They had greatly soured our predecessor's opinion of Broko Kozanad over time, having to dole out their treasuries in order to pass vital legislation in the Alm Haraz. Fortunately, the only direction their loyalty will shift is towards the High Lords, once fully controlled by us. Alright, bunch of permanent claims, and they get some interns there. Now you want me to own all this. Man, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Man, it's really unfortunate that we have to do two separate wars here. I mean, maybe we can snake around on the outside. It would be kind of cursed, but probably worth. See me, Nope, it's just orcs, goblins, kobolds, ogres, and I think trolls at some point. The frigid north. Yeah, and trolls. Here, Justiki needs to be 10 development. Here, Justiki. Here, Justiki. This one. There we go. So that will be ready for that mission. All right. Derb as a tune. Can I threaten Segdir for this? Like, I know I can't, but maybe if I wish it into existence hard enough, it will let me. No. I did my best. I believed. I believed as hard as I could, but it didn't work. Uh, don't repair Cracked and Vor immediately. I would prefer... 
This does take us over our governing capacity. Would prefer if you built a fort first. How do we almost 500k manpower? We're built different. Buildings, quantity ideas, soldier households. I just influenced Moonhaven again for no reason. Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of waiting for our wars now with uh, with Varumhar. Improve a Boostalar because they apparently don't like us very much. How do you make all holds intern holds? I don't. The only one that got forcibly switched was Air Veer. This one just happened to get it. All right, Dur, Vazatun, go ahead and get that built up. Uh, we can diggy diggy Verkal Kozanad and diggy diggy Verkal Vazkron. We can take tech. Very good. We can build cathedrals now. Cool, I guess. Uh, upgrade to Skull Crusher Brigades. We don't need standardized uniforms. It's fine. Uh, we do need to build more of these to keep our governing capacity in check because we are pretty much at it. Which I don't appreciate. Small tag next to your colony. Uh, that's just an extension of the centaurs. I got cut off. Is our truce with you up? 36? Okay. There's province war score cost, which would be nice against farm horror. In fact, they that may just give us what we need to be able to snake around through the deep woods to grab holes or cad huge we could grab the the dam maybe big big if true big if true we all love paying money for the dam it's very worth it we love the dam oh, that's a four siege general right there that's two four siege generals uh, hey, Miss Donnie. One province in the Vale isn't like the others? What do you mean? All provinces in the Vale, uh, make grain. You're being weird right now. You're being, these are all the same thing. They're all the same thing. It's all the same. The is literally worthless? No, that's not true. It's worse than useless. <laughs> it's worse than worthless. Yeah, pay, get that corruption gone. I don't need it. I would like to get to economic hegemon if possible, but I would need to micro all my buildings. So that way I can build more manufactories everywhere. And who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? Uh, what do you mean poor uniforms? We are rich 10 minutes later. Nah, we don't need standardized uniforms. Nah. Uh, Omdir, we could go for Metropolis. Or we could go for military infrastructure. Let's go for... Why do you want Metropolis? What about professionalism? Army drill game. Things that are more useful. You know what? Sure, fine. There you go. There's your, there's your Metropolis infrastructure. I hope you're happy. And a couple of infantry. Can we move cap? No. I mean, yes, we can, but I'm not going to. Um, because I'm stubborn. Okay... I had blood and fire. The Pantheon grows. Hey, yo. Did he really did he really give himself a god? Honestly, kind of based. Kinda 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 good. Kinda good. Uh Arrakis, Hand of Dagrin. Once a mortal dwarf during the later era of forging, Arrakis descent or ascended to divinity after Dagrin had determined that his domain was growing too large for him to manage by himself. Seeking a wise and competent manager, Dagrin chose. I keep saying the name wrong, I'm pretty sure. Arrakis is steward to ensure that everything within his realm occurred as it should, and all tasks were carried out both to the letter and the spirit. 
Arak has fulfilled his duties, striking fear into the hearts of those who were found lacking in their efforts and rejecting shoddy or incomplete works as a disgrace to Dagrin. Those who excelled their tasks receive rewards and praise in abundance. For steward, critiques were called. A major deity. <laughs> nice. If you're going to make yourself a god, you might as well make yourself a major deity, right? Okay, drill all those infantry up. We're about to have some opal separatists down there. So let's send some dudes down to deal with them. Yep, 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 yep. We can apparently start a whole restoration of Cracked and Roar now, so let's do that. Nine neglect, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. We'll see, you can take care of them. Okay, you didn't even move in. Cool. Go here. Beautiful cavern is profiting. Money is flowing. Um, cathedrals, I guess. If it's blue and on a hold, then I might as well just upgrade it for now. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More manpower. Um, more mini factories. Um, oh. You can't get anything new. You can't get anything new. You're already level two. I don't really want Hammer Home to like me less. I already have six level three trade centers. I'm being bullied for having too many trade centers. They won't let me get more. What's up with that? Why do I have negative points? Oh, because I repaired holds. Right. Right. There's my truce with Varamhar up. I wonder if he will accept a threatened war. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, no. He says no to that. Not interested. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. It's old gods better than ancestors. It's just different. It relies less on RNG from other dwarves doing well. And... More on just other RNG. <laughs> and the fact that everybody, not everybody, but a lot of AI tags swap means that it's not really worth it to stay Ancestor Workshop. Great project. There is no great project in Bossing Say. They want me to upgrade the Marhold Tunnel, which will just make me lose all my trade power. And I'm not interested. I don't want to do that. No, thank you. I'm good. Nuh uh. No. Uh, uh. All right. Well, here we go again. Uh, build two cannons. You need eleven thousand troops. There we go. You just need twenty thousand cannons. You go back to these guys. Merchant's Proposal? Sure. You... Have two more being built. But I don't actually need those two being built. So instead, I'm going to move you up here. You do need five more infantry. So let's give them five infantry. Yay! Miner distinguishes themselves. Cool. Okay. Oh, I can upgrade the North Citadel for my my little homie here. You need all provinces in the Trial Mount. All provinces in Castanath have 
temples. I can do that. I actually cancel those. Sure. Sure. Cathedrals. We worship so good here. We're, we're the best worshipers of all time. Okay. Uh, back to speed four. And uh, we are tech 19. They're tech 19. Okay, that's fine. Declare the war for... Pull your CAD. Call in Busalar. The rent is fighting another war, so they're not interested in coming, but I don't care. Uh, you immediately make your way to this fort. Yeah, and you immediately go to that fort. And you immediately go back them up. You go to this glade. And you go to this glade. Let's get it all occupied. In and out, 20 second adventure. The bedrock. When constructing a hole, there are many things to consider. Among others, the rock must be relatively workable. The area must be fairly geologically stable. The civil planning must handle air and water flows. And there must be ample room for further expansion. Uh, however, during our recent expansion of our capital hold, we seem to have hit the world's bottom. A seemingly infinite layer of tough volcanic rock, slightly warm to the touch, is what Hyloid Moira sees when looking at the recently finished new bottom floor of Haraz or Doom. Our digging experts claim that it would be practically futile to attempt to continue expanding downwards and that we are better off accepting that this is the end. This is truly a momentous occasion, yet somber. Since time immemorial, Dwarven society and digging holds have been heavily conjoined, and the idea that there would one day be an end to the digging seemed absurd. No known Dwarven ancestral tale mentions anything like this. Perhaps in the future, Dwarves will reveal Moira the Excavator. A new ancestor is forged. 50 Admin Points and 50 Prestige. Bum, bum, bum. My girlfriend? Yeah, I think it's a door fortress reference. Warm stone, can't dig through it. But there are specific places where you can dig through. Uh, I don't really care about any of this. Harsh treatment cost, sure. Why not? Why not? Like, this war is going to be a walk in the park. I just Let's split up. Stacks of six. Seven. Thirteen. Seven. You just stay here. Actually, no. You can go down to teleporty bit. Do you see all these guys here? I mean, that makes me a little nervous because I don't have... A lot of dudes around here. Just these 15 protecting this colony. But they haven't moved in yet. Do you have any cannons whatsoever? I can get you five. Uh, all of you move down to this one. Oh, they're murking up. <laughs> they're murking up. We're going all in, boys. Now we have silk. Let's go. Okay. So now no one can say that we have poor uniforms. Eh? Pretty good. To the next forts. You going up there. We're going to be much more bold this time because I don't think he's going to have the cojones to attack me. Okay. And peace deal. I would like this. I can't even snake around to grab this because it's not allowed. Okay. Well, then we just go for a super fast piece deal here. Why is our own switch to the mountains? Uh, because the other dwarves suck. That's why. They kept getting their asses kicked. Now I have to pay the price for that. Which is a little ridiculous when you think about it. When you really think about it. I'm being inconvenienced by other people's incompetence. Not very cool. Not very cool. 
Attack that. Pew, 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 pew. That's the sound of me eviscerating like 30,000 elves. <laughs> that's, that's just the sounds that our cannons make. Double, yeah, they did get double great conquerors, which definitely helped them. Uh, it's not helping them now, but it, it helped them in the past. Oh, here we go again. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, actually, I shouldn't have gone pew, pew here. Nah, we win these. We win these. Easy. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. We can do a ritual. It's hammer time. We start off with 125. Give me that missionary strength. Thank you very much. Uh, kill those troops. You all move to here. Wow, only minus 35% defensiveness, huh? Looks like this run's going well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just getting through the mission tree at this point. Like, it's it's Jover. It's so Jover for everyone else. <laughs> There's no one on this planet that can touch us. Like, it says that Lorenz number one GP, but... Nah. Nah. If they walked over here to fight me, we'd kill them. But we are allied, so... It's all hypothetical, of course. All hypothetical, of course. I don't want to lose the stability. I like my three stab. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go, boys. We got to go. We got to run. That's a little too much. That's a little too much for us. Uh, grab that. Obviously, it's time for very hard Mythical Conquer. I was doing uh, an Ask a Sir run on hard. I didn't play on very hard, but I was playing on hard to see how it go, and it went pretty good. It went all right, except Raj was a big pain in the ass. Uh, very hard Mythical. <laughs> Tell them World Conquest went. Never, because we just die. You just die. Busalar would get the Mythical Conquer, and that'd be it. GG's. No retries. You're dead. Man, you're doing great, Varmhar. You're doing you're doing good, bud. You're you're putting up a fight, and I respect that. I don't know why you're not giving me the what I want the peace deal though. That's that is crazy for you. Like I'm literally asking for two provinces in the mountain. Two. Two provinces in the mountain that you don't care about. Like, it's not the right culture, not the right religion. It's eight development. You know, if you can actually just, like, grow a pair, or, I don't know, uh, just attack Sariand, you could expand more. Hey, this is a problem. I think I bit off more than I could chew on that one. That's mountains. We can't. We can't bust through that. Bro, it's seven war score. Why go south and you can go north? Because I'm kicking his ass every time he tries to go north. <laughs> That's why. What's he going to do? What's he, what's he going to do to beat me, right? Like, <sighs> Me and... I don't know. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Bro. Okay, we gotta go take his capital. Then he should leave us alone. <laughs> I like how I say he should leave us alone when I'm the one that it's attacking. <laughs> I'm the aggressor here. I'm like, yeah, you know, this should make him leave us alone. Okay, it's time to kick some ass. Uh, get the 5-6 general here. And walk. Snorri, good anvil. It's time for you to kill some elves. But only if they get in the way. There we go. 
Will we be an ex-vassal for the hold? Uh, never. But maybe I do take a little bit more land. Now that you say that. And get a border with my vassal. Ta-da! 150,000 troops on a siege. Worth it, worth it. Okay. Can we peace out now? Thank you. I don't even need your money. Ooh, actually. Yeah, we say in this to break his alliance with Resincand. It's annoying that Resincand's in this and it will extend future wars. Well, war. Uh, we'll have one more war against Varumhar. One single war to take hold your cad. Can I release the hold owner? Hold? What do you mean, release the hold owner? Canorian Tea Party. All Imperial Princes gain 25 opinion of me. Sure. Only because it allows me to strengthen government, though. Did whole Jorcad form? Uh, no, unfortunately not. And no one has cores here either. Uh, let's get ready for our next war, which is going to be Segdir, who is allied to Jad, unfortunately. I mean, not that it, like, matters, but... Just another person that we'll have to fight. Okay, there we go. You and then Deviant Arrow, you can have all of. Ooh, I did not mean to enforce my religion on you, but it's too late now. I did. All right, walk here, walk here, walk here. Mm hmm. Hold never forms. Not never. It happened. Was it in the Phoenix Empire game? I don't know. I've seen it recently where Holes Your Cat formed. It's not nor it's not like a common thing, but it is possible. For sure. Well, Segdir, I'm so sorry. I would just threaten war, but I need more than that. So while I know that you were an ally at one point, you are now an enemy, and that means you will die. Sorry. This section of the serpent spine belongs to me. You should have known that. You just stick to the middle dwarvar, all right? Religious power. Yeah, give me that siege ability. Uh, you can have this section. Go kill Vorko Gulan. These AIs are cowards, you know? I'm going to say it. They're absolute cowards. Like, fight these wars. Go expand. Go go do things. Shoo. You're just sitting here. Waiting for me to come kill you. What's up with that? My nose is itchy, too. It's a double whammy. Dumb AI. And that. Alright. Convert... Right. Having only one missionary kind of sucks. If only there was something I could have done about that. <laughs> uh, you know what? Hammer home, you can be an autonomous vassal. It means that I can no longer scud at you. But that's okay. Because I want him to declare his own wars and stuff. Like, if he can go beat up... Well, he can't. He can't go beat him up. <laughs> but if he could... <laughs> if he could, that'd be nice. Uh, more Diplo rep. More Diplo rep. And land force limit. 
No admin policies for me, apparently. He is illegal. Vazenbrug has fallen. All right. Go to Hodovar. You just keep making your way forward. But then they will steal Marhold from us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not Marhold. Ah, nuts. Whatever shall I do? Not my Marhold. No. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll kill like Council League or something. Who knows? <laughs> In before Hammer Home, 1v1s go ahead. Huge. How many pieces of the crown are out there? Uh, some. And we'll never get them. Burger Gulan, Chain Grasper, and Jade March. Reasonably, I mean, we could grab Burger Gulans if we could somehow get a CB on them. But Chain Grasper is all the way over here. Uh, they're allied to the Raj, which, I mean, not really a problem since the Raj is falling apart. But I'm not fighting the command for a crown. There ain't no way. There ain't no way I am fighting Great Conqueror Command for that. That's on the other side of the continent. I'm good. No thanks. No thanks. Uh, what am I waiting for for my missions? Beginning of the end. Okay. Just need to own all that. And this. I need Cracked and Vroar to not exist. Rip. Our truce is up in eight years. Woohoo. We can also speed five this war. Command Tunnel Warfare is, my, is your favorite. Yeah, I love finding the command in the tunnels. And then they go outside the tunnels and walk around the tunnels. <laughs> and you're like, ooh, I got to walk back to the other side of my nation. Because all of a sudden, they're not in the tunnels anymore. What do you mean? One of our cloth suppliers has been found to be supplying substandard cloth for our army uniforms. At this point, just execute them. Like, this is the second time. It is the second time. Just kill them. Do you have a CV for crack? I do. I should. Pretty sure I made one. Yeah. I do. Kill. Kill. There can only be one dwarf. And I'm that. I, I am that guy. I am that dwarf. Uh, you give me all this. That's all I want. Just want this section of the serpent spine. All right, you can keep your section. I don't care. What? Are they going to walk around back up into here? Old probably would have killed the command before 1600. No, old probably would have just not fought the command. Uh, and he would have given up on the run when he got three disasters. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. Just abandon the run immediately. But I'm just built different now. Current Poey is old Poey because Poey is old. How dare you? How dare you? I am young and spry, even if I don't feel like it every morning. All right? I've, I've got that, that fight in me, that dog, you know? <laughs> Ra. <laughs> All right. Once we take Segdir, they should peace out. Could take Miltek early if I really wanted to. Build that. Build those. Build those. Our current problem is going to be absolutism. Uh, you know what? Get rid of the monthly admin. Get rid of the monthly diplo. Get rid of generous quest rewards. We've got to have 50 absolutism here. So we'll have to just give up the monarch points for it. Court IT is next. Uh, we're a ways away from that. Sorry to say. Oh, I only have a level 3 advisor. What am I doing? 
No naval thought suffering? Truly the end of days. Treasure map. No, I'm not going to pay 9,000 ducats for a treasure map that's going to be, you know, copper difficulty and short, and I get 100 loot out of it. I'm good. Go, cracked and roar has been fixed. Expand the infrastructure here. Build a soldier household. That'll do. Farmhar is going to attack Kieran Uleg. I mean, I guess I did tell him to declare on someone. I didn't say exactly who, so. Fine. Whatever. Not what I meant. Didn't mean go attack the centaurs. Meant like attack the other elves. Form the Phoenix Empire. Do something good. Uh, take Diplotech. There we go. Segdir has fallen. Which means, yes, we can, in fact, peace out. Give me whatever money you will. Thank you very much. And that is the end of that war. We're up. We are way, way, way over our governing capacity at this point. Uh, sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. We need to harsh treatment people when we can. Uh, which means we should probably lower our stability. Because we're a little too stable right now for rebels to rise up in mass. Or just build different, that's all. Gold rush. Cool. Our truce with you is up. What a joke. What an absolute joke is that? <laughs> Bro, a bunch of dwarves in the caves are like, yeah, we're going to ally <laughs> two great powers because I we all hate the same guy. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just kill him when I declare in Varmhar again. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> Alright, split up. We'll just leave you here. And diggy, diggy hole. Uh, 50 more admin points is appreciated. No debate in Parliament. Um, mercantilism, huge. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, we do have a maximum of 50 absolutism here. It's went up by one. If I can get some more crown land, we could get the natural growth of it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all mad about something. Beautiful cavern profits. Can you stop giving me legitimacy, please? I don't need the legitimacy. In fact, I would like to lose legitimacy whenever I can. Please and thank you. All right, if we can get up to, is it 70 or 75? I think it's 75. That I can start getting plus one a month for absolutism here. That would be rather useful. Some from success, true. I truly am. Uh, monthly diplo power, sure. I like monthly diplo power. Uh. A matter of faith. A hey, lose 20 legitimacy. Let's go. That's two strengthens. Huge. Okay. Send the colonists there. Maybe go to war with the centaurs. They've already peaced out with Varmhar. Well, that was fast. That was really fast. Okay, send 80,000 troops up here. And send some dudes over here.
Yeah, sure, just take it. We don't really care about efficiency and stuff at this point. At this point, we are just trying to do things for our mission tree. Uh, which Cracked Devor needs to not exist. Dorrod 24 needs a fort. Gorrod 2 needs a fort and a ramparts. That's this, Gorrod 2. Yeah, what, what else? Dwarvrod 24. This one? Okay, well, we're still coring it. We'll need to colonize these bits. Recall, send. Yeah. Are they still monstrous? No. So I need to tool spy network. Flourishing court, plus five max absolutism, and I gain 10 legitimacy. Boo. We're already at max, so it doesn't matter. Our truth with Goed is over. We fight Goed again? Military development. 58,000 manpower or more army tradition. I like army tradition. Uh, we're going to send our merchant or our colonists here to get this done faster. Wait a second. Yeah, I'll accept, but I'm not joining. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, I don't care if Council League doesn't like me. I'll get over it. I wish you would buff Mercantilism so it's good. I mean, what would you want them to do with it, though? Like, what's the buff you'd be looking for? Let me at him. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. That's my quarry under attack. All right. You're doing great, Busalar. You're doing great down there, bud. I'm so proud of you. You're you're looking looking good. You're sieging things down. Look at that hammer home's going to help out. Good guy hammer home. You love to see it. You know what? There you go. Congratulations. You have the North Citadel. You know what? Congratulations. Level two. You know what? Congratulations. Level three North Citadel for you. You're so welcome. You're so very welcome. I have nothing else to spend my money on, so. Sure. Build those up. Build those up. Gov oh. I'm clicking too fast. I'm out of control. Out of control. Get all that. We can upgrade our forts. Uh, sure. Let's upgrade our fortifications. Yay! Clicky clicky buttons. Build one there, 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 there. I'm actually sure we're gonna need forts down here too. Cancel that. Build a fort there. For mission. Build fort there for the mission. Build a great palace. Uh, I don't want to gain legit. I want to lose legitimacy. I don't want to gain it. What you mean? Hey, what the? What? Wait a second. Wait just one second here. The hell are you doing? Why do you have a hundred thousand troops inside my mountains? Don't you think they might be better spent? Mm, I don't know. Defending your land. Hello. How am I supposed to attack the centaurs? Oh, fuck you. Actually. Eh. 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 Of course they guaranteed them. I don't know. Maybe we can take advantage of that. And take hold your cad. It's possible.
I thought I moved you. I clearly did not. Get to hell out of my mountains. Get out of here. Shoo. Be gone. Little rats. Ruining my land, sieging it down. Good in that. I'm surprised they haven't uh, allied the lake fed yet. Complete that. Build a fort. Go help. Sorry, Booslar was a little slow on the on the draw on that one. There you go, Eliza. I hope your little adventure was worth it. I, I hope you enjoyed getting your entire army stack wiped. Hope you hope you liked it. Would Varmar actually defend them though? They would. I don't need the centaur land. I just want it really badly. No, just kidding. I do need to own it all. No, no, I just need to own all holds. Okay. Uh, but I do need Dreamcast Tune to be a level four hold. So we're going to have to focus on that. Uh, tick tech now, because uh, I'm impatient. Swivel cannon time. Then. What was the. Durabazitun Airnet Beer? Okay. Alright, cool. They're, they're almost there. Lake feds, we could use more sailors. <laughs> I need more sailors, clearly. No, because that war takes forever. <laughs> That's just us walking in a line over here. My boats, they're taking attrition. I'm so sorry, boys. There's our truce with Varmhar over. All right, well, let's get into position. It's time to kill Varmhar again. Can we get down here. I could also build uh, a lot more troops. Yeah, sure. I know. It's fine. It's fine. That didn't even take us over our force limit. Fear me. Fear me. Ra! Can you do the cube dance? There is no cube dance. I regret saying that. There's no cube dance. It's not a thing. Like that would that was just me being dramatic. There's no such thing as a cube dance. Strength in Parliament. No, do not lower my absolutism. For the love of God, do not lower my absolutism. Oh wow, admin free policies for all the admin policies we have. I'll go with meritocratic recruitment. Yep, 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 yep. Harsh treat them all. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Uh, yeah. Let me just get a stretch in here. Praise the cube! Right? It's almost cube time, actually. it's th We're three years away. You could have waited for three years for the cube to appear. And yet here we are praising the cube early. We're just getting in before everybody else. We praised the cube before it was cool. Praise the cube. The cube is great. The cube is there should be a wingdings redeem? No. You should just forget that wingdings ever existed. It'll be better for you. I promise. No wingdings. Wingdings are for the evil people. Confirmed. Uh you need to delete this. Build ramparts. Uh, repair old rails. We need to dig airnet beer. Can I expand infrastructure here again? I sure can. All right. 
diggy diggy hole. Get that to level four. Our army reformer has kicked the bucket. What a loser. Level five advisor. Should switch to cube after all. Man, I have not even done converting things to the first religion we switched to. What do you mean? What do you mean I should flip to cube? Ain't nobody got time for that. Look at that, they deleted a, oh no, they didn't delete a fort. We just took the fort immediately. Ugh. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Now, there are a couple things we need to do. Number one, you. How do you have so many allies? You're so insignificant and ugly. Sorry. You need to break your alliance with Lake Fed and with Varimhar. Uh, uh, and with Kraknivore. I'll just kill Segdir. I don't care. So we need to get 30 war score on them. I take their capital. That probably ends it. You think the Wingdings are my kryptonite? No, I just think the Wingdings don't make any sense. And I can't read the Hey, what? I'm not sure what you think the plan is here, Varmhar. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I don't know if you think like you're gonna sneak up behind and like siege me out of the war or what's going on. But for some reason, you decided that you did not value your troops' lives. So cool. Uh, I do see these seventy-one thousand troops here, though. I need, quite literally, one province. Five war score, and then I don't have to fight you again. Hopefully. I hope. I really hope. Uh, you go up to Crackton Roar, and you're gonna attack them before they get any other allies. Preferably. Uh, is there any more that I can culture convert? There are a couple, but most of it seems to be good. Most of it is dwarf. Okay. Well, what now? Well, I guess we just go straight for his capital again. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. Well, give us the war score we're looking for need this siege to be done. Okay, well. Assault. Okay. You... Need to kill your troops. Apparently. There, there. There, there. Is the dam in the mission tree? No. No, thank God. The dam is not in the mission tree. It took us 19 days to take his capital. That's super embarrassing. Super embarrassing. You'd think after all these wars that they'd create a way for me to not just immediately walk to their capital. But, uh... Well, you think wrong. Got the ramparts there. Siege of Azkabar. Go kill those troops. Sure. All right. Orlazam Azdir. You will accept the peace deal. You will break all of your alliances. Varmhar. Give me that. You know what? Get rid of your uh, guarantee on Kirlin Uleg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Immediately deck them. That way no one else guarantees them. Because I know that's exactly what they would do. Celebrate a festival. Who is it different? Uh, the tired clerk hefts up another stack of papers and begins sorting through it. Uttering a prayer to Aurorakis as he does so. The audit of our country's excavation budget was well underway. And this was the last stack to go through. As he sorts through the papers, he spots a discrepancy, followed by several more. 
By the time the information reaches Moira, the full story is clear. Several high-ranking individuals have been skimming off the top in several key locations. The priesthood of Arachis Ar 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 has offered to assist in further examinations for a marginal fee. While costly, it would undoubtedly free up an immense amount of resources for the hold's excavations and perhaps even allow us to go after these corrupt individuals. Good for us. Okay, Cractivore is being killed. That's great, that's great, that's great. You guys come together on air nap beer. Diggy diggy hole. Rebels? <laughs> hey bud, you wouldn't attack this 7k stack, right? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. That would not be very uh, cool of you to do. I just need your stuff inside the mountains, okay? That's it. You should know the, the deal by now, okay? Nobody owns things inside this section of the mountains except for me. It's, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. It's very easy to understand. In my humble opinion. Just don't take my land. All right, Cracknivore, you are thankfully dead. Can't court up. What else do we need for that mission? <laughs> Admin power. Okay. Funny joke. We start off at 71% <laughs> on the siege. Oof. Oofa doofa. Not good for them. All right, Sapphire and Quartz, north of Orlazam Azdir, lies the holds of Duravazatun and Cracked Vroar. Sapphire and Quartz, while the former fell long before all other holes due to the imbecilic act of comprehending the heavens, the latter has managed to hold out against the orcish onslaught thanks to their isolated position deep in the giant's anvil. Stagnant and weak, the holds of exiles and criminals needs a proper high lord to guide and protect them. As such, we will send a missive to the remnant hold and await the renewed vassalage. Okay. And the Frigid North. We would be remiss in our reclamation if we did not expand into the Northern Pass. The new frontier is, quite literally, a breath of fresh air from the tedious resettlement of the Dwarvar. Unfortunately, we have heard rumors of tall and gaunt abominations that plague the region. Creatures that cannot be felled even by a thousand cuts or a hail of bullets. Nevertheless, Haraz or Doom will not be denied the Northern Passage, regardless of the foe. An old foe. The icy hold of Cracked Devore and the mountains it resides in show evidence of a past foe much greater than the greenskins of today, the giants. Beings of yore whose stature rival the peaks of our own mountains. Though long past, their lesser troll kin are an ever-growing nuisance in our expansion into the northern pass. The trolls' tall stature and regenerative capabilities make them formidable fighters and potentially great laborers having little need for medical aid. Shall we properly civilize them or remove these beasts once and for all? Make excellent gatekeepers. Alright. Now need everything in Jorkad Junction. Need to convert whole Jorkad. Uh there's a very easy way to fix whole Jorkad. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Sorry, harpies. It's just the fastest way. No harpy wives? No harpy wives. Sorry, boys. I'm afraid you're gonna have to go home sad and alone this time. All right, cure then you legs. Give me these three provinces and we can go our separate ways. Thank you. All right, now we just have these guys to kill, and we own all the Northern Pass. Oh, hey, look, Gawai's dying again. To Bjarnrik, who is allied, no one important, but still killing him. Calls for cheap labor. Our likes reclamation efforts, our recent reclamation efforts, have yielded an increase to our expendable labor force. As a well-known supplier of slaves, there's always a demand for our allies and Kenorians who require cheap labor. 
sure. All right. Failed another parliament thing. Not too concerned about it. I'm going to be honest with you. Harsh treatment. Actually, I probably should be losing stab. That way I can stab up and get more absolutism. Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. Okay, you are building a rampart. You are building a rampart. Yep, all provinces in the West Dwarvar do need to be owned by me. You've allied Gorbarad. Bro, you just you just cannot die, can you? If I had more admin points, I would consider truce breaking here. But I don't. Harpy interns? Nope. Harpy interns are not an option. Not an option. Uh, also, I'm not sure if we're gonna... Well, it's almost 1650. I really hope we spawn manufacturers. I will be a little sad if we don't spawn manufacturers. I'm a little sad. What the f... What do you mean, bro? Come on. Come on. They're not even a great power. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, whatever. They'll spread quickly to us. Growth of regimental towns, okay. Corruption. Uh, yeah. We lose a stab. Hey, I forgot that we're dwarves and it's very expensive to stab up. New debate and assembly. I don't know. Uh, mercantilism. Ogre cannibals in the military. Well. Do any of my other missions require diplo rep? Mm, yes, they do. People aren't food. People are not food. All right, turret gorge, turret gorge. You need 10 development and a manufacturing. Okay. The Haraza Depths also needs a manufacturing. And Old Doom Past, you also need a manufacturing and 10 development. Merc Company needs to go to the capital, and then when we get the artificers here, then we should be good to go. I need to be at peace, so Eliza, see ya. Thanks for the good times, I guess. And I would like to seize land. There we go. We're now getting plus one. Absolutism a month. Well, plus one more absolutism a month. Which is pretty huge. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Let's deal with those. Uh, yeah, Booslar, you can have access for sure. That's fine. You're gonna deal with that. Let's siege it. You go back over to border with Durbazatun. Sorry, Orlazamaz Deer. Not Durbazatun. You go to the capital. Okay. Uh, so. It should spread pretty quickly in our country. I'll even throw in the advancement edict on all of our holds. Just so it spreads a little bit faster. It's not like money's a problem for us at this point. Advance, advance, advance. That one has devastation. That sucks because that slows down institution spread. Advanced. 
Okay, convert that. Corvette. I don't even know what province that is. Okay. Our statesman has unfortunately kicked the bucket. She's level five. Duravazatun is now hold level three, which means we actually need to get it developed one more time because it needs to be level four for the end of the mission tree. So one more development, please. This also needs to be level four. It's going to level three right now. If you could add a mechanic from CK3 to EU4, what would you add besides the inbreeding? Why Why would that be the choice? Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why would that even be up on the list? The predictable sieges, though, I would like something more like CK3, yes. I think it's fine to have setbacks in sieges. I don't like the just rolling. But then again, I don't know if it really fits. Like, I don't know. It's difficult because... Like, right now, forts don't matter. So it doesn't matter how long sieges take. So, who cares? Right? But early game, it would be nice to have more predictable sieges. The what? What do you mean, the what? What do you mean, the what? Have you never played CK3? I'm going to assume you haven't, if that's the question you're asking. Uh, harsh treatment, harsh treatment, harsh treatment. Okay. Absolutism is up to 33%. All right. Diggy, diggy, durb as a tune. It'll take 11 years. Store rails, repair holes your CAD for sure. Airnet Veer is dug to the next level. I need to be 60 dev now. There we go. The beater. Price of paper drops. Well, that's not good. Because we have a hold this paper, so. Oh, great. More interns. Yay. <laughs> uh, when's our truce up with Orlazam Ozdir? Okay, there's manufactories, which gives us goods produced. Which means we may be able to grab Hegemon. Relatively soon. Do we know how much this goods produced does for us? Never mind. Uh, but we do have artificers now, which means we lost a bunch of crown land, which sucks, but... It's all right. We do need to make our artificers super loyal, though. If you want to get down this branch. So, I guess that means we go with state. Harpies are gone. Metropolis infrastructure in Verkle Vazkron. Okay. That makes you my culture and religion, and you're getting repaired. Very nice. Upgrade your center of trade. Why not? Uh, after this, we need to build a... A thing there. A thing. You know, the thing. University. So we get cheaper development. When's our choice up with the Orlesan Mazdeer? 56. We got four more years, folks. We got four more years. Till we gotta fighty fighty them. I also like to have popes pimping random rulers with money, like on CK3, with popes basically rooting in gold and gifting away whoever goes to war with Muslim derivative. I mean, but that was mostly gone by this time period, and also I think that it's a terrible mechanic in CK3, personally. I, I hate that you can just ask the pope for claims and for money, like, on cooldown. I think that's stupid and bad gameplay, but uh, that's just me. That's just me. All right, we gotta have some more mill points if we want to uh, keep harsh treatment. We're gonna focus to harsh treatment. 
So focus mill. Be the murder? No, dude. Murder. Is... <sighs> There's a lot of things. Huh? No! No, 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 no. Ah, damn it, dude. I thought we were going to get through without getting that. No. Serpent's rot time. Incredible cavern cracked in ornaments like lit by vast floor of bioluminescent plants laying several hundred meters below the surface and in its middle shelter is a huge island almost unbelievable in its wonder totally independent ecosystem feeding on unknown energy bro we were so close <laughs> uh, we were so close we were so close uh Sorry, we've, we've got plenty of money to deal with it. It's just, it's going to kill development in some of my provinces. Uh, you four cards time for your religion start to become less relevant. Yeah, I don't think like the Pope giving you direct money would make much, much sense in EU4. Exploring Miko's Karak. What if we just let the cave stay a mystery, huh? What if we just don't look into it? It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we do. The illusion of choice. Serpent's rot is going to hit us one way or the other. Forge of the past. This place has plus one goods produced on fungi. Huge. Can it cross the overland provinces? Oh, yeah. You can go anywhere inside the serpent spine. So, that includes the Northern Pass. If only it couldn't. God, that'd be nice. Just sacrifice Crackton for it. <laughs> what if we... Hear me out. Hear me out. What if we just collapse the tunnel and let everybody in here die? Eh? Eh? Sounds good to me. Merchant Fractures? Oh, yeah. Give me that mercantilism. Thank you. Just keep harsh treating away. Get that absolutism up. We're getting close to 50. Uh, I don't really care who leaves, but I want the monarch points. So you're both going to leave. Well, power cost and land maintenance. Sure. Why not? Why not? Don't worry, Serpent's Rot be that big of a deal. It's not. It, it just, it gives you a lot of... Oh, more Mithril, you say? Oh. <laughs> well, that Mithril province is about to get dunked on. It's devastation. It lowers your... Uh... Development as well. CK3 tech propagation makes sense. Yeah, but I don't know. There are definitely problems I have with CK3. Wow. Dame's Deer. Declaration of the Northern League. Sucks to suck. I, I enjoy CK3. I was playing CK3 last night, and I'll probably play it again tonight uh, after stream. But there are problems I have with it. A lot of the... Mechanics in it are very um, simple, which is fine, but I would like for them to be more in depth. Stream it? Nah. nah. Just hanging out. Mostly just sitting there. I'm playing God Heretic because the new update for God Heretic is supposed to be coming out sometime soon. And so maybe I'll stream a little bit of CK3 when that comes out. Um, like a nighttime stream or something. But we'll see. Any plans to marry your cousin? In game, I mean. Well, uh, it's a no to real life and in game. Uh, I'm playing in like a desert area. where I don't really have any family, but like, I don't know. You can play more Victoria 3 sometimes. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I, like every once in a while, I'll go back and play some Victoria 3. <sighs> but it just ends up being the same run every time. I don't know. Uh, CK3 is once in a while a game before I get tired of the Hearth Blob Mage. Yeah, you gotta, you have to really limit yourself in CK3 once you know how the game works. Otherwise, it just becomes too easy. Yeah. 
Uh, beginning at the end. Mysteries surround the day of Holy Thorcad's fall to the Orcish invaders even after all this time. Some say it was to punish Gulan Amek, the last king of the Hold, for his obsession with wealth, while others claim the orcs arose from the foul depths no Hold has ever penetrated, the primeval serpent depths. While it is certain in the beginning of all Dwarves' fall began here, the loss of Jorkad Junction dealt a fatal blow that rippled throughout the Dwarvar. If we are to re-establish the lead Dwarves under Platinum rule, we must ensure the Junction is fully fortified from all entry points. Only then can we be certain the West Dwarvar holds will be safe forevermore under a proper High Lord. Yay! Nice, let's kill these guys. How do I have to our CK3 mod? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't ever really looked into the CK3 Aminar mod, because I just played the, this one. Uh, finally, they're reaching the lake. Our group of explorers is back, and they bring incredible news with them. At the bottom of the lake is the corpse of a huge snake-like creature unknown to the world. But as wizards and scholars moved about in every direction to find out its nature, a huge earthquake ripped through the cavern, driving huge stalactites into the lake and shattering the cave structure. Try to contain the collapse. Uh, apparently it's really dark. The philosophy released a mud turd. Don't worry. Over the next time you turn to a fine crafted base. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily fair. Um, like the games are fine. Like I like CK3. Don't get me wrong. I like CK3. My gripes with it are like just my, the way I like to play it. Like I feel like uh, a game which encourages role playing should be difficult to expand in. That way you actually have to role play. If that makes sense. Right. I don't think CK2 is bad on release. But keep in mind, I never played CK2. So I don't have rose-tinted glasses when it comes to older Paradox games. So. Paradox is high turd level. High turd scale level. Turd victory is also high there. Yeah. CK2 goat. I do, I do like the idea of having more in-depth building choices and technology that's not just like everyone has the same technological progression, which doesn't really make much sense. Because like, I don't know. My, my main problem with the tech in CK3 is that it, everybody has the same progression. They have just like a couple of differences that you get your like special cultural ones. But other than that, it's just the same. And I feel like that's that kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Like, what if I want to create a nation that's more focused on, like, economic development or social development? It's like, nope. You can't. Sucks to suck. Not allowed. Uh, artificers need to be... At 60 loyalty. Uh, my mercs are on my capital... Any employed mercenary company is the Lords of Platinum. Current location, Haraz or Doom. Am I crazy? They're right here. Am I missing something? Maybe I need the upgraded version? Oh! There's a different one. Ooh, there's a different one. Okay, Magnum Opus. A legend shall be reborn on this day. With significant improvements to technology, the tedious and time-consuming method of producing the Lords of Platinum will be no more. The age of artificery is upon us, and with its advent comes improved capabilities in harvesting and manufacturing. We will recreate the Platinum War Suits of yore in such quantity that we can clad all of our soldiers in Platinum. Hey, also, is this the last mission, or is there more? I feel like I should have asked that like, I don't know, an hour ago. Uh, we dwarves have always been known as incredible fighters, even in spite of our difference in height and compared to our regular enemies. An orc could be felled in two swipes of an axe, the same as any other, but only the second swipe truly killed them. One to bring them to their knees, another to take their head off. The time wasted in having to swing twice concerned us as much as it concerned our ancestors, who started several experiments with height-increasing devices in order to give them an edge in combat. No hold succeeded more than Haraz or Doom, which was able to feel a number of these war suits even during the fall of Altwarov. Our artificers have been hard at work studying these designs and have been able to reproduce the methods used to make them. 
What is more, they've been able to improve on some parts of the design and have managed to streamline the production methods to such an extent that the suits can be made much more widely available than at any point in history. The Platinum War Suits, as it's nicknamed after the generous amount of platinum that is used in these designs, is extremely durable and holds a pair of extendable battle axes, complemented by a set of slug shotguns that trigger upon a punch. Using these, dwarves can advance straight into the fray, charging into an enemy line with no regard for his own personal safety and slaughter the lot unscathed by shot or bayonet. Cavalry charges will hold no sway to him as well, for any attempted charge will simply topple over the dwarf as if they were a stone wall. The tales of our ancestors are once more within reach, and we might now relive the days of dwarven heroes slaughtering whole armies. And now, I just need to have some military power. And I need the artificers to stay above 60 loyalty for like two months. One month. Literally one month. Warsuit Enhancements while our esteemed predecessors' war suits are the pinnacle of military technology, the antiquated times they lived in limited the production of such armor. As such, innovation could not truly take place to further refine the platinum war suits until now. Utilizing an immense amount of resources from our manufactories and the cooperation of the artificers and nobles, we have an opportunity to place our own mark on history. Warsuit Specialization With the knowledge of the platinum war suits spread across Halan, we have a choice to make. As the progenitors of this wonderful technology, we have advanced knowledge on how to further develop the Platinum War Suits. Do we spread this coveted power to the masses, or attempt to refine the finest? Grant strength to all Platinum Soldiers, plus 5% land fire damage, minus 5% fire damage received, or our Artificers can get more fire damage and drill gain and regular line. Now, we'll give it to everybody. CK3 is too universally similar throughout the game. True. True. Which is... Uh, yeah, yeah, true. Like, there's so much I could talk about, but we don't have time for that. We don't have time for me to complain all day. Uh, Warzone Maz Deer is up in six months. Artificer privilege we got was Platinum War Suit. Our Artificer regiments get 5% discipline and take 15% less manpower usage. Sure. I can make 48 Artificer Infantry. Sheesh! Build them. See, there's just lacking in depth. Feels pretty linear and non-changing. Like what you get at the beginning is end. True. It is, except the amount of levies just get inflated like crazy. Which is another problem that I have. It's that armies are too easy to use and too big. Ah, oh, shit. Silent streets. All right. It's Serpent's Rod time. I am military power. Uh, am I the only one that thinks the artificer bonuses in general seem underwhelming compared to the descriptions? I mean, yeah, but like, uh, gross. No, you can't have access. Stupid. Rebellion state. Look at, look at this pathetic rebellion spawn. Okay, never mind. Laurent went rebellion. Cringe. Night effectiveness is goofy? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's goofy? Do, are you trying to tell me that having like five guys go and absolutely obliterate someone else's army isn't balanced? Come on. Come on. Okay, you take that. You take that. You siege that. You siege that. Just get through. Uh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. You don't have any... You just stay there. You walk over here. That's my quarry. It's under attack. Burn them all! Yes! Yes! Burn them all! No. Uh. Look for clues in the corpse of the sick. We'll do the correct thing. We'll be the good guys. Okay? We won't burn people that look sick. Even though I'm just saying it could work. You never know. You never know. Uh, Paris and General's love-hate relationship. We all know what is coming. We don't like it, but we also still buy it and play it. For that later, we're still playing and complaining. True. Ooh. Uh, I can't boost my legitimacy right now. I need to start extensive research against the Serpent's Rot. Establish a team of researchers. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? You go to Gorbarad's capital. Is that all of Segdir's troops? No. Okay, you're going to go down here and threaten them, but you're not going to move in yet. Yeah, hiding it. I'm still playing less per hour gameplay than most other games I own. I just have way more hours on Paradox games. What strategy game developer keeps working on games 10 years post launch? <laughs> Door Fortress. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I like, I, I think the problem is I'm looking for a different experience of what Paradox wants to make, and that's fine. Skill issue on my part, I guess. I, they don't have to make what I want to have. They don't, they don't matter what I want. They'll make what they think is the most successful, and if that disagrees with what I want, well, too bad, so sad. Get over it. But uh, I would like CK3 to be a bit more realistic like i would love a population system and i don't mean i need like a victoria population system for ck3 i just mean like i would like to see like the amount of people living places because then you can actually role play whether it's worth taking or not for example uh, can you catch them yes you can take that fight you're gonna peace out with me are you Okay, I thought they had a mithril hold for a second, and I was going to take it. Uh, in that case, I don't care. Why is Varmahar killing centaurs? Because they're too cowardly to fight anybody their size. That's the answer. Oh, their craven ruler is gone, though. So maybe someone new will take over. They won't be afraid to fight people that are just, you know, as large as they are. Okay, Orlazam Azdir. You are getting full annexed. This is the only option. There is no option B, sorry to say. You are Dunzoed. Uh, African Jungle, number one developed place in the world. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there is that problem with EU4. With development, maybe not the best system of all time. But you know what? It gets the job done, okay? You can make the numbers go high. What more are you really looking for? You're hoping they cost too much war score? No. No. Not funnies. Not funnies. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, sort by name. Give me your war reps. Give me your money. I don't care about anything else. Just want you to go away. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I know that you're black flagged, but I did not give you access to bring literally your entire army back through my land. Okay? There's no universe in which that's okay. Come on. Come on. You could have gone, like, back through your own territory. You ever think about that? Just <laughs> enemy, hostile enemy army just rolling through saying what's up. How's our absolutism doing? Good. We're at 50. So now, all I need is to own all this and uh, diggy diggy holes. Just need to diggy diggy holes. in their blood. We understand more about the curse now. Well, it's not a curse. It's a sickness. It's a, it's a disease, but okay. If you want to call it a curse, I suppose we can call it a curse. Finance extensive research. Yeah, I don't care how much it costs. Just do it. <laughs> we got preemptive diplo ideas for that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Digging with surface rot does feel bad, but it has to be done. But it has to be done. Dev cost 100%. Okay, maybe I wait. Maybe I do wait. Well, that one's only one away. Diggy diggy hole. We'll wait for the other ones till after the surface rot. 
What show is that single route to solve Serpent's route? Ah, uh, so you just want to burn everybody. You can say it. It's okay. We know what you mean. <laughs> we know what you mean. You just want to burn everybody. Uh, you go there. Missionaries arrive? What the fuck? Okay. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I want to burn them all. Want to burn them all. That's what they get for being sick, honestly. If you didn't want to get burned, you just wouldn't get sick. Yeah? Hey, simple math. Simple math. Diplotech. Does this increase Diplo? Oh, right. We gain war exhaustion during the Serpent's Rot. All power costs 10%. Uh, create a quarantine zone. Hey, it's, a, it's a good thing I got money. <laughs> That costs 10,000 ducats. That, that's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot of money. Karashi drills around. Cool. I'm sure nothing bad will happen because of the Karashi drill being invented. Surely Haleste will not explode into a disaster. That wouldn't happen. It's not real. It's all in your head. Fighting the rot. We slowly inch closer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. Walk around and fight these troops, or don't. I, I don't really care if you fight them. I just need you to siege things down, please. That's all I care about, is that you're going through and beating them up. The Magnets win. Okay, the Northern League stays. Good for them. I mean, you could do... You could not do the cure if you just quarantine and scorch everybody with the rot. That could be a path. It could be, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> like, realistically speaking, it wouldn't work. But, yeah, I suppose. I, I guess it depends on how large your country is. If it's a smaller country, eh, maybe. No, because not even then, because it's airborne, right? So, that won't work because it just gets taken through the air ducts in the serpent spine. Like, you just get rolled. If literally anybody else. Got it. Oh, I can't do cooperative research, man. There's nobody else that has the rot. It's still only a cracked and roar. Which I appreciate. What if instead of burning the infected, we just burned everyone? Now, hold on. That's true. If no one's alive, no one can get sick. Shut the air duct. Yeah, let's just shut off the oxygen. True. True. We're playing FTL now. <laughs> They're trying to break into our ship, and we're just shutting off the oxygen. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Simply breathe space. Crack is the best place for it to start. Incorrect. Best place for it to start is over here. <laughs> Far away from me. But as for what I own, yes, it is the best place. I, you saw the Serpent's Rot vent? Oh, no. Can I get out of this war now? There we go. Full annexation. 492 admin points to core up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying for that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. We'll just wait until after we're done with the Serpent's Rot. Uh, surpassing our ancestors. We have overcome tribulations that have toppled lesser holds, curtailing an ancient curse. We have reclaimed the Western Dwarvar and placed its oversight under our hold, the first amongst equals. We have restored all Dwarves' wonders, the fertile Serpent's Veil, vale, once more feeding the masses. We have chained the Green Invaders, the ones who partook in wanton destruction and depravity, the ones who felled the Haraz Old Doom of old. We stand above the masses, basking in the glory of our achievements. In this instance, we have accomplished a feat unlike any other. The great Amal Oz Orals grants Haraz or Doom an unprecedented amount of prestige, surpassing even our predecessors. We must announce such achievements to the entire Serpent Spine. Look upon what your ancestors have wrought and what you have restored. A West Dwarf are filled with dwarves of many cultures, no longer home to disgusting squatters. The ones who infested our homeland and brought down our predecessors are once again put to work under Platinum Heel. With the nobility brought in line for good and a reformed institution of slavery, William announces to the captivated court, I am the Lord of Lords, 
Herald to a New Age. Plus one admin free policies, which we have zero. We lose a conditional modifier, Noble's Ire, and all nations in the surface spine lose 20 prestige and minus two Diplo rep for 10 years. And now we just need to dig Durvazitun, Air Netvir, Vokra Kozanad, and Holy Shrikad. Uh, okay. You are level one, so we've got a ways to go with you, my guy. But of course, it's plus 100% dev cost right now. So I guess we just speed five and save mana points. I don't know. Are you winning? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we're we're winning. We're just kind of waiting for the Serpent's Rot stuff to happen now. That's it. We have one mission left. And I would skip it, but it has an event, so I have to click it. I have to know. I have to know what it says. Bloody disease? Yes. Run harsher, <laughs> run harsher experiments. No. Test the blood or something. You can build a mage tower to make it cheaper. That's true. That's true. That's true. We can build a mage tower here as well. What are all the holes that need to be? Holes for Cad, Burke, Rokos, and Ad, Air Net Beer, and Dura Vazitun. Okay. Well, two of them are currently digging. And the other two are building mage towers. One final war on Goed. No, because we get... Uh, how much war exhaustion here? You get 0 0.01 war exhaustion, or 0.1 war exhaustion currently from the Serpent's Rot. So if we go to war, we'll no longer have that at peace, and we'll get lots of war exhaustion. I don't really want that. Time for console commands. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, console commands. Yeah. No, we'll just save points here. And then if we're about to max out, we'll develop. Or take tech. Probably take tech. We can get those good, good furnaces for all the coal provinces that we definitely own. Sacrificial breakthrough. Uh, he tested on himself and then he died. But it worked. But it worked. Yep. Northern Pass is getting rolled. Mr. Misrata is spreading. Hasn't gotten into this hold yet. Which is nice. But it is spreading down towards Almdir. We also have the most valuable trade node in the world. Get wrecked, everyone else. You wish you were as cool as we are? We're just simply built different. The War of Consolidation ends. Yeah, and Goed won. <laughs> Goed, Goed won. They own the most. The evil grows. Just keep doing further tests in the blood samples. It'll work out eventually. We win these eventually. We do have level 5 advisors, right? Yes. No debate in the assembly? I don't know. Is there anything that helps us against the Serpent's Rot? Because that'd be kind of cool. Doesn't look like it. No. 9%. Bro, this parliament sucks. They don't support anything I do. Is there any way to make them support what I want more? Like, off the bat? Uh, I'd like the monthly dip, so let's go for siege ability. Not that we are going to do any more wars, but just in case. And maybe we do let the surface rot spread. Teach the other dwarfs how to burn. <laughs> uh, finance research. Yes, give them all the money they want. All the money they want. I We will put all, like... Like, the Serpent's Rot is incredibly deadly. It's crazy that we don't put literally every cent we have into solving it. Like, it is brutal. It kills entire, like, province populations off if we're not careful. Right? Like, why would we not... Actually, never mind. I think I know the answer. <laughs> I think I know the answer. That's why anything really just costing for a few bonuses. We'll never pass one without paying for it. Boo. Boo. Boo, I say. Go 
corruption. Yeah, we got corruption. What of it? <laughs> it's just the flu. It's just the flu, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Surely. Remedy for the rot. Mushroom. 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 Uh, uh, yep. Keep upgrading the rails. Damn. It just spread like crazy once it got down here. It was going slowly because it could only go one province at a time. And then it hit this province and it went boom. Minus 80% local trade power. Less 80% less goods produced. 80% less tax. 40% less manpower. Uh, local seller monthly devastation plus one, which is insane. Just say no, legally it can't affect you or kill you without your consent. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Internet Veer. Go ahead and build a mage tower. Okay, keep upgrading the rails. We're so fast, we're so fast. Progress cannot be hindered. We simply cannot be stopped. Except by the serpent's rot, apparently. What the fuck? No. You're on your own. I'm not fighting Goed for you. Not gonna happen. There was one war where you fought them. There was one war where I fought them. We're even. I'm not joining you again. There's no one that's gonna attack me. You're on your own, bozo. Spider wretch separatists. Not cool. Not cool. Besides, we have a little bit of a disease going on here. Do you really think it's good to, like, start a war when my country is being obliterated by a disease? Like, come on. They're just going to die. I'm just going to spread the disease farther. But it only affects people in the serpent spine, which is kind of racist. I'm just saying. Just saying. Why can't it affect people outside? Like, go ahead, huh? Proponent for banning his allies once again. It's Laurent, an offensive war. I'm not abandoning him. I'm just telling him to piss off and fight his own wars. Right, the Serpent's Rock got bad enough to spread beyond the Serpent's Spine. That'd be interesting. It'd suck for everybody, but it'd be interesting. Went Regent Court. Yeah, they flipped Cube and then they flipped back, cowards. Veers at 60. It's dig level 4. Okay, no, actually, that one's good. That one's good. So we just have Virko Kozenad and Holes Your Cad now. That need to. You know what? Dig that twice, or develop that twice. Start the dig. It's going to take forever to get these done, though. Like, we're just going to be sitting here waiting for this province. Be an unreliable ally? You want autonomy? Well, what if you... Fine. Fine. I'll be nice. I'm not an unreliable ally. I'm just a reasonable ally. Dip prep at 7, too? Yeah, we have dip prep at 7 once we... Uh... Well, I was going to say once we max out our legitimacy, but... We already did... Oh, yeah, I can just stop purging the harpies. We can do that now. Uh, da, 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 da. Harpies. No longer need to hee hoo you. Goblins, we no longer need to focus you. There we go. So now we have our Diplo wrap back up to 7.8. Which means we'll be fine. Uh. If you might want to look up the dwarf specific event that gives you construction time, cheat these things a bit faster. I'd rather not cheat it. I'd rather sit here than cheat it through. I'm not gonna lie. Because then, I don't know, it just kind of feels like the whole run was wasted. Yeah, we were still focusing goblins to start the mission tree. I had never got around to canceling it. Finance research? Yes. I wish that there was a way that you could see that you were making progress in. Uh, 
fixing this. Oh, this is... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, it's spreading well, though. It might get down to our vessel. It's possible. Oh, never mind. We did it! Yay! Woohoo! No more serpent's rot. Encourage development. Upgrade that. You need 30. But that actually, developing with admin here is the call. It's the play. Because it gives us more construction time reductions. Six years? Man. This is going to take forever. All right, well. I suppose we should just go beat somebody up then. We're just going to be sitting here anyways. Might as well try and get up to, like, economic hegemon or something. I got things I can build. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got things we can build, all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Expeditions? We could do expeditions. That's true. We have to have the points here, but then we can, we can absolutely do some expeditions. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a wonder. <laughs> It's possible. I don't think all the wonders have been found. Uh, let's see. Expedition menu. In Yibad's nest. Oh, Yibad's nest. Sorry, that's a colony. Platinum and short. Alright, organize the expedition. Let's send 10,000 troops. Let's... Set party share at 200. We can prepare supplies. Sure, we won't be able to send this off immediately. We gotta get some more monarch points going. Raven March did take uh, the hold. I'm gonna be very sad if they end up opening that, by the way. Oh, yeah, I guess you guys can come home. Command's campaign? I'm not sure. Not sure I take that monthly dip. Gonna take the monthly dip low. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Look how much we lost because of the serpent's rot. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, devastation. Yep, looks like the Serpent's Rot. Cool, I love Serpent's Rot. I love watching all my provinces go to 100% devastation. Like, immediately. It's great. Um, just dev a little bit. Just dev a little bit. It'll be fine. 100%. 100% devastation. You can't just develop that away. Good news, though. Our capital is still prosperous. Huge. All right. You split up. Split up. Split up. <laughs> Not with that attitude, you can't. That's true. All right. Uh, sure, you can dig on, dear. I don't care. Uh, expeditionary party. Start preparations. Go ahead and organize them once. And raise morale once. And send them off. Good luck, boys. Go find something interesting. Yeah? The Pantheon grows. Ooh. Asmirith is in Forge Tender. Brother of Dagrin and made from a different stone by Halana. Asmirathazin is the patron of all smiths and metal workers. He is also known to dispense his sister Anvilin's justice, wielding his mighty forging hammer, Mainolinlier. Mainolinlier. Close enough. His crafts are known to be unparalleled, although some say the items crafted by his grandnephew, Arisazern. Arisazern? Arisazern? Arisazern. Rival or even surpasses quality. Okay. 
Ancestral statue. More money. Core all that up. This episode says, do we ever accept any other than dwarves or are we super racist? No, we're still super racist. Yeah. Kill the mage. Okay. Mjolnir's cousin. Mjolnir's cousin got a weird name. Just saying. Okay. Okay, we're just waiting for some of these to get repaired. Then we'll have the super speedy rails. Where we can zoom around. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, dude, our income. Uh, our income dropped by 200 ducats. Like 150 ducats. Because of that. <sighs> Sad. Not stonks. Not stonks. If only it could have spawned on the other side of the server spine. If only. Upgrade rails. Uh, trade patient C sounds good. Still think there should be an evil dwarf nation with the mission tree all about burning down the, the Fey Woods because we're not There is great news. Great news. The tag you're looking for is Verkal Scomb Deer. They do, in fact, uh, take the Deep Woods. And they do, in fact, undeep woods the Deep Woods. Area of your hold specialization. Yeah, look at these guys right here. Verkal Scomb Deer. You have to start off as an adventure. Uh, these adventures that start over here. And. You gotta migrate pretty quick because Abdel let him may cut you off of the colony. But if you just walk over, you can snag it. And it's good. Alright. The core, that's fine. Oh, there it is! They actually did it! And we were looking at him too. Haha, <laughs> bozo. Took you until 1667. <laughs> I'd already conquered so much. Stupid AI. L, 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 L. Sorry. Uh, apparently I can take Diplotech. New Pantheon. Uh, sure. So like, are you gonna like go conquer Bolvar now, or are you just gonna stay where you are, kind of deal? Like, what's going on here, Ben? Like, you barely own Bolvar. I'm not even sure why you were allowed to form the Phoenix Empire. You must have just barely gotten enough provinces. But you only have cores up here. Oh, oh, they've been sitting on overextension this whole time. They haven't been able to core any of this. It sucks to be them. Because they must have lost something to natives. He doesn't even own Tion Lu. <laughs> he doesn't even own Tion Lu. He doesn't even own Davarol, bro. Just a couple steps. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to do the Phoenix Empire mission tree now. That's for sure. No, uh no way. Not with a Jad that looks like this and Bubari in command that look like this. You have these two allied to uh uh no way. No way. How many wars? How many wars? <laughs> I'm good. Bubari is in Sarhal. That's true. Right, uh uh. <clears throat> I ain't touching that. Why does Jad own this? How does Jad own this? Nope. We didn't get anything interesting from that expedition. Sad. Sad days, sad days. Okay, 
Okay, you're being dug. You're level four. I think we're just waiting on the... Yeah, two southernmost ones. You know what? I know that technically we need to wait until we get to the uh, next level, but I have the points and I'm sending it. There's a ritual. Holes don't dig themselves. That's coward talk. Ooh, goods produced? Yes, please. I need more money, clearly. Probably lost the war to Mercs. I mean, Buvari. Let's see. How many troops does Buvari have right now? 384,000. How many mercenaries does Buvari have? Did I spell Buvari wrong? I did. It's AU. They have pretty high income. Um, military. They have 71. No, they have no mercenaries. I have more mercs than they do. The well, mine are special mercenaries. They're special. I'm just going to develop it straight to 60. That way we can just dig one after the other. And tag, I don't know what we're going to play for the next tag. What are some things that people are interested in? Now's a good time to do that because I'm not really focusing on the gameplay. So I am open to ideas. Uh, yeah, fix the railways. OPM pirate near Jad mission tree yet? No, I don't think so. The null artificers, that's these guys, right? Let's start right here. Are, is their content fully done? The only the only thing about Saw Hall is if the content's not fully done, I'm not gonna want to do it yet. Because I wanna make sure it's like, you know, it's done. Because people are putting in a lot of work to these nations. And I don't wanna like play them before they're ready for prime time, you know. Uh, I played Ash and Yonde. I have not done Corveria yet. We have played Vazatune. We have done so. Plumwall. What a recommendation. Pl like these guys? These guys, Plumwall? That's sort of like right in here? That's crazy. Ever seen the Black Castor? I've, I've done that before, but I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Um, is it ready? Is all the content for it ready to go? Uh, hold digging. It'll take five years. Yeah, it's fine. The game's moving at a pretty good pace. And if we just sit here and let the devastation go away, we may get back up to, uh... Snag. Economic hegemon. They have an expedition? What do you mean they have an expedition? Who, like Plumwall has an expedition? Is that what you're saying? Give me that goods produced, please. Yeah, like a serpent spine expedition type thing? Mulan's not done. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for a, a green light for Mulan. Um, one of the new achievements is for, I think, tell him to own the world. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, funny. Funny, 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 funny. I just did Jahair's thing, and that was exhausting. Kuznoli died? Well, Moira, you stay winning, I guess. Road Warriors, Road Warriors is fun. Very fun to play, and not so fun to watch. But very fun to play. Yeah, that's level four. So now we're just waiting for Hole is your CAD. We're going to hit to level 3 right now, and then to level 4. Say Gelcalis. That's just the same thing we just did. <laughs> Wait a second. Gelcalis is just Bersartanschist, but worse. <laughs> Wait a second. Do another achievement. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at the achievements. Um... We could do the Blackbeard Cartel one. 
Starting as the Blackbeard Cartel, become a Pirate Republic. That's a fun one. It's a pretty easy one. It's not that complicated. What you need to do is just start as the Blackbeard Cartel, migrate here, form Shaztun Deer, uh, take some provinces so you can get Pure Ale, move your capital to Pure Ale, give up these provinces, and then become a pirate. That's how I would do it. Do the Goblin Lord one? You mean the one where I have to vassalize the command? God found? Does Goblin Nation have the command as a subject and convert the religion to Goblin Shamanism? DAC run confirmed? <laughs> Single player DAC run confirmed? That'd probably be the easiest person to do it with, to be fair. Uh, do Vanale. Vanale memes taking Lensinor. Ordened. Well, we, just, we recently did Ordened. But Ordened into uh, the Deep Woods and Eskin could be interesting. Because we've done Fall. Sorry, Autumn. We've done the Autumn. We've done Winter. So either a Spring or Summer we could do for Deep Woods and Eskin. Probably Spring, right? I know people really like the Spring one. Uh, let's see. What else do they have? Do an Empire of Ambinar run. We'll be in rule by Saluna Dynasty. It's whatever. Yeah, it's not like a Racka Prune. Could you do the balance people? We could do the balance people, but who wants to do the balance people? Uh, that we just get naturally in a playthrough. Getting schools of magic. Uh, this one looks interesting. Starting as Zongji, become Raja, and own or have your subjects own all of Rahin and Yanchen. I don't know how that would work. But that is a tempting one. Damn, there's so many events. It's almost like we're on speed five. Uh, King of the Hill is a funny one. That's Hondurak or Denzerbexis, which is Hill Knolls. Give him great jazz. Uh, get the command's ass. As a nation with Haramari primary culture, hold the Raja title, be the chosen of the Ket, and convert to one of the Ketist religions. That could also be cool. You have to kill Bulwar. Maybe we do that when we do the Raj run. I don't know. It's gotta go. Gotta go west. Kobold, one Shia. I don't know. If I play one Shia, I probably want to do one Shia at their strongest, not their weakest. Return to the Elder Scrolls mod. I don't know. I don't know about that one. No. Chain Grasper down. Chain Grasper down. The command is bully. The command is bully. Harpy tags? Yeah, but then I have to play a harpy. Oh, wow, look, they actually are going to war jab now. Good for them. That's a lot of dudes. Ah, yay. We are the economic hegemon. Get wrecked, bozos. I can re-ally Laurent, too. It looks like it's interesting, but it takes forever to play, and Dow's computer can handle playing it and recording it late game. Yeah, like, it's it's fine. It's fun, but it does take forever to play. All right, guys. What idea group are we taking? I'll take whatever idea group you want. I'll even take the meme ones. What do you want? Uh, none of those different races are stronger than the others. Harpy and Harmony Mills really fall off from mid to late game. Yeah, but you got to get to mid and late game. So if you can kick the command's ass early, then you can just switch later to like human. Naval, eco, aristocrat. Okay, anything but aristocratic. What if I say that? Is that fair? <laughs> Naval tolerance because we tolerate our unpaid interns. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Tolerance? Okay, we'll do a poll. How about that? Slash poll. Uh, our idea group we have tolerance we have court 
and we have aristocratic. Okay? One from each category. You have one minute to vote. You can spend a lot of channel points if you want to uh, make the vote go in your favor. All right? There you go. Go at it. It's like, a, it's like releasing feral animals onto new food. No navel, I'm devastated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those are your options. Those are your options. Eventually, when we play boat dwarves or something, we'll go navel. <laughs> Why would you ever take navel, though? Uh, eight years. It's fine. I'll go by fast. I'll go by fast, and we're, you know, we're making tons of money now, and we're cool and awesome. Please don't make me choose aristocratic. Come on, guys. Come on. You wouldn't do that to me. Damn, Court's got one vote. Y'all were saying Court, but then when I actually throw Court in there, you're like, ah, no, I'm not going to vote for that. Average chat reaction. Be like, yeah, 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 I want this thing. I want this thing. And then it's like, hmm, actually, no, I don't. Hmm. Get tricked, streamer. Sucks to suck. Uh, you tied it. Y'all, I... <sighs> Fine. You know what? Fine. Um... Yeah, fine. Well, no, hold on. I can't get rid of Diplo. You guys, I can't get rid of it if I want to take the... The last thing. Pick Court because Ty. You know what? I think it's a great... I think it's a great idea. Pick Court because Ty. Get rolled. Next time, make a decision. That's what you get. That's what you get. You know what? No, that's not fair. That's not fair. I'll choose Aristocratic, too. There you go. There's your aristocratic ideas. But that's also not fair. So I think we'll just get rid of it. And then I'll choose uh, tolerance ideas too. Boom. There we go. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. You all got your your idea group. Okay. We're easy. Easy. I got to take two intolerance ideas though. I can't just take one. I got to take two. Because that way it's all evened out. All right. Don't worry. Command is going to attack the lake fed. Well, sucks to be the lake fed. There you go. Boom. Your susceptibility Huge. I can choose a new deity. Give me the Diplo rep. Okay. And then I get rid of it. And we go naval. Boom. Naval stays winning. Naval stays winning, boys. All right. Orcas refugees. Give me your money. How much longer do we have on this? Please free me. 84. We have a while. Go, Corey. Don't renew my sub. That's not how this works. You can't. You can't hold me hostage to go for a certain idea group. Do we have a single boat? We have four boats. Thank you very much. Okay. We have four light ships. And you know what? We'll even upgrade them. Hmm. I think we don't have boats. We got boats. We got plenty of boats. We got all the boats we ever need. We got four. That's four whole boats. That's a lot of boats. One impressive navy. Hey, that's pretty good for a dwarven navy, I will say. Why are you attacking the lake fed? Because you can. Also, why... Why are these guys alive? They're out of Buvari. You're not, though. So I don't know how you're alive. The command is slack... Actually, I guess the command probably doesn't want Doogie Yasa, all things considered. <laughs> Commands are like, no, -uh, I don't want nothing to do with that mountain. No way, no way. Too many spirits, too much magic. I'm good. Admiral, you want to be an admiral? Okay. I will get you an admiral, and and you can rule the boats. All of our boats are yours to command. Huh, actually, not bad. Not bad. And you can go protect trade here. Very useful. Thank you for your service. Great. The Phoenix Empire is so discontent. That means it's time for the run to end because they're going to start doing all that. Uh, the indentured mint will be removed from Haraz or Doom. Does that mean that we get 30% more production efficiency? Actually, that's special. Hold on. We got to read that. Perfected exploitation. 
Uh, the madness of the Horde Curse all too clearly demonstrated the folly of entrusting the Adventurer Lords with summon check power. Our emergency reforms have allowed us to curtail the strongest privileges, allowing the High Lord to become the largest owner of the indentured masses. With a now subservient class of nobility, we can utilize the ostentious overseers to their maximum potential, allowing us to complete control over all slaves within Haraz or Doom's domain. Now we just make them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we make like 160 more ducats a month because of that. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Lazy colonist here. Are you happy? You can also do an expedition. Send 10,000 troops. Supplies. Sure. Max them out. Raise morale. Raise it twice, three times. I don't care. You just need to succeed. That's all. Succeed and find something cool. Undercrowns, undercrowns. All right, go back. Start expedition. Off they go. You cannot be more than one hegemon at a time. No. I think there's anything that raises your capital and takes all your money is sad. We prefer a dragon event and punish probably for having too much gold. But the dragons are extinct. For the most part. For the most part, they're extinct. They're not really a threat anymore. They're kind of snoozing on the other side of the planet. Uh... Obsidian Warband. Oh. We found some obsidian guys. Let's do some, Let's fight them. Yeah, we like loot. We like loot. Loot is good. Loot is good. Loot is good. Everyone is loyal. But, 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 but. I need legitimacy, diplo rep, absolutism... Nothing to do with anybody being happy, though. <laughs> nice. Okay. Need to get cast up for a couple mission tree. Every capital in the world gets raised to three devs. Only four dragons roost everywhere important. That would be interesting. I'll give you that. But imagine being... <laughs> imagine being the people that get rolled. That would not be great. Dragons be snoozing right now. They do. Oh, yep, gotta keep going down naval ideas. Galley combat ability, huge. We use 10 sailors a month. Rip. Alright. Prestige. Expeditions doing their thing. I don't care about that. We're making a lot of money. We're just at the point in the run where, you know, we just kind of won and we're just trying to do this last mission. God of the Forge. Moira woke up with the blaring of horns and the clanging of anvils, which was confusing considering that the nearest forge was far from their bedchambers. Outside the palace grounds, a procession arrived bearing a banner with the symbol of Asmirathazin. Along with them were wagons filled to the brim with armor and armaments, as a variety of smiths worked even then to ensure every piece of equipment was up to standard. There was enough equipment to arm four regiments of infantry at the very least, and enough dwarves following the procession to equip them, each volunteer eager to wear such fine work and willing to waive recruitment fees to boot. Alright, gained four troops. <laughs> Yay! Woo! You request more boats for the Navy. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, we are running out of sailors. <laughs> well, you're going to have to go back to port here. We're, we're out of boats. We're out of, we're out of dudes that want to serve in the Navy. But you know what? Just for you, I will state up this province. There we go. It's still not going to do us anything because, you know, we have no autonomy here. But, but, or we have no... It's wrong uh, culture, wrong religion. It's all bad. But you will get more sailors now, at least. Actually, that's a lie. There's not more sailors. It's the same amount. You want an impressment office. You know, fine. Here, the impressment office. The most useful building in EU4. I love impressment offices. What mission tree in base game has you build them? I know there is one, and I was stuck on it for so long because I didn't know the building existed. 
There's like a major nation too. I can't remember. Useless unless it makes people impressed. If you be, ah, uh, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, if both doors don't make you build one on hold, I'll be disappointed. True, at least it makes sense for them. Maybe. <laughs> the problem is, if you have enough income to build impressment offices, you probably have enough sailors. Skirkokli rebels? No thanks. We don't need them showing up. Uh-uh. That, that dude can stay where he is, wherever he's from. I'm good. I'm good. Wow, Phoenix Empire, you took so much land. Wow, one, two, three, four, five provinces. Five shitty de desert provinces. <laughs> okay, cool. Can you ask Laurent for sailors? <laughs> sure, sure. I have to improve relations with them first. They don't like me very much because I did tell them to piss off. When they asked me to go to war with the Northern League with them. And I said, nope. Nope. I'm not interested. You know what? There you go. We won't complete it, but I started the I started to build the Marhold Tunnel. No one can give it. Oh no. Rip Eka, bro. Eka's going down. I want you to see. I want you to see. It is 1681. It is 1681. Not a single nation took naval ideas. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe there's a reason. Reveri's alive because they were allied to the Northern League and now they're allied to Bjarnrik. They're allied to Gwed for a long time. And they had uh, Reveri's dynasty. We are truly the most innovative nation. <laughs> truly. No one can top our innovativeness. Looks like Vanale should have gone naval. They were probably long gone by the time it mattered. Also, look at this rebellion state. Richest rebellion state in history. What in the world? 26% control of Westport? Really? Like, Laurent, you couldn't have given them, like, terrible land? Like, that's an insanely developed rebellion state there. Like, even this would have been better for you to give away. You gave them a center of trade. Why did you do that? <laughs> and, he, and then he flipped back to Regent Court, so it didn't even matter in the end. Should have given them Vanale? That would have been very funny. Omdir is developing a new culture. Oh, shit. I can't remember what to do about that. Yeah, it's fine. Well, they say it now has a mission tree? So I've heard. I heard there's also a save out there that you can immediately jump to playing them. <laughs> Huge. We can make client states. We can do nationalism. I'm not sure that's a good thing or not. I, I, you know what? I'm going to be bold. I'm going to say it's not. But it does mean we can take this section of the surface mine for free. It's free. The dwarves have accepted... Or the goblins have accepted the dwarves. Gross. So what holds you to get their culture during Horror Curse? I don't know. Beware what crawls in the dark. Wait, did we actually find a, a thing? Son of a biscuit. We did. We actually found one. Okay, right, well. Yeah, send it. I don't know if we're going to finish it, but we'll start it. Might as well. Alright, morale. You don't actually need to prepare this much for these. This is absolutely unnecessary. But they're gonna be so ready. They're gonna be so ready. They're gonna be so ready for whatever they come across.
more naval ideas. Uh, first chamber. Taking the first steps into the cavern, and we quickly found ourselves inside a massive natural chamber infested with silk and cobwebs. And hiding behind these webs, creeping through the floors and walls, the flickering torchlight reveals swarms of spiders. These arachnids, ranging from the smallest pinhead-sized crawlies to cat-sized beasts, quickly flee the luminance. But the knowledge of their presence causes many members of our expedition severe discomfort. Upon the chamber itself, a path forward is clear through a tunnel in the far cave wall. However, some slight clues like unusual cobweb patterns seem to hint that previous expeditions may have been here in the far past. Finding clues as to the remains of these past expeditions may be a great boon. Sure, search for leads. Uh, following disturbed patterns of webbings as well as other subtle clues, we managed to find the remains of an old expedition. And judging by the dust and webbing present on the collapsed tent and long burnt out fire pit, this seems to be a truly ancient dwarven campsite. Could hold valuable clues. Giant spooters, that's right. Uh, new plan. In one run, complete dwarves, then switch to run state and complete their mission tree. That just sounds like a lot of extra work. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, ancient cartographer. Investigating the campsite, we find many corpses of long dead dwarven adventurers. While it's unclear what caused the death of the explorers, one of the corpses contains a notebook of what we believe to be annotations regarding the cave system, including drawings of the cavern, as well as of a few rough maps of other areas. It seems that this previous expedition had managed to go deeper into this cave system and had set up here while returning to the exit. However, as the journal is written in some ancient scripts, we're unable to fully decipher the information. Use a ritual to speak to the dead cartographer. Sure. Uh, after preparing extensively and settling, setting all of the precious components, the ritual begins. The ghostly visage of a long dead dwarven explorer flickers into view. The image isn't perfect, and some of what is said is too faint to be understood, but enough reaches our ears to help us on the journey. Hidden some of the treasure we couldn't carry in the crevice past a webbed tunnel. Beware the rumbling. Ye be. We shall use this information wisely. We should. We will. I mean, I guess there's more loot. Yeah, I think it's Spider-Land only. I mean, it makes sense. Because this is spider territory. Spider territory. Uh, spider cattle. Moving on through the main tunnel, we come upon a most interesting and disturbing sight. Large cattle-sized mites with bulging abdomen. While their appearance causes revulsion in many of our explorers who immediately retch, reach for their weapons, these beasts don't seem to be immediately aggressive towards us. In fact, they seem even interested in our presence, cautiously and even gently reaching out their feelers towards our food supplies. Although there seems to be an obvious way forward from this location in the form of a large passageway, we could take respite here for a while and maybe even deal with these creatures. Maybe it'll be helpful if we give them something. Side tunnel. We feed the creatures part of our supply of food, and the mites seem to be intelligent enough to be grateful for it. They lead us towards a side tunnel hidden behind a layer of cobwebs, and after a few hours of wading through the cramped passage, we emerge within a larger passageway. Looking back through the passageway, it seems that taking this side of the path helped us avoid a fairly large nest of pretty threatening looking spiders. Thank you, mites. Look at that. Sometimes being nice pays off. All right. uh, splitting tunnels. Moving onwards in the wretched spider nest, we find ourselves upon a branching pathway. The tunnel on the right seems to be heavily webbed through from where we stand. Most of the web seems to be old. On the other hand, the tunnel on the left has a slight breeze coming from it. Breeze sounds good. But we have our last mission here. Reminisce some times past for the fall of all dwarves to the eager dwarven adventurer company to the successors of Haraz or Doom. The estates fall in line under the High Lord, benefiting from the bustling economy fueled by the indentured masses and the extravagant court life of Am Al Orls. The West Dwarvar reclaimed from ruin with its perpetrators clad in platinum chains, our achievement marks the turn of an era. Our grand feat will forever place Haraz or Doom as first among quote unquote equals. On the shoulders of giants. Within the grand halls of Alm as Orls, on a throne gilded in platinum, sits a woman staring down at a crown in her hands. It is here where the aristocracy fraternize and scheme an ever evolving discussion that can have ramifications throughout Kanor and the Serpent's Vine. Glasses and cups clink, filled with the assortment of liquids from Demerian tea to Ascani Dark. To the uninitiated, the Assembly of Lords is a daunting place of equal opportunity and risk, if one can follow the platinum waltz to the regular patrons, an average day of entry. But today is special. A day of remembrance for the fallen. As High Lord Moira continues to gaze the platinum gilded dwarven crown in her hands, her grip tightens as she makes an amendment. A day of celebration. Amidst the din and cries, Moira Firebane rises to her feet and dons the ancient crown as the assembly falls silent. She surveys the audience before her, the adventurer lords, making the majority of those in attendance, but not diminishing the presence of the guests. 
from imperial princes to Ascani petty kings, nobility from all over Kenora arrived to witness the assembly. I am grateful for those who could attend, says Moira. I am sure you had a wonderful time witnessing the achievements of our ancestors, she continues, as the platinum nobility nod with great enthusiasm. Their Kenorian and Ascani counterparts, not so much. High Lord Moira smiles benevolently, gazing around the room. Now before sampling some of the finest cuisine the surface mine has to offer, we must commence with the veneration of all recorded ancestors starting from... Moira cannot keep their laughter in any longer upon witnessing the shudder that had affected even the most vainglorious of platinum dwarves in attendance. After the good-natured heckling that followed, Highland Moira raises her glass high as those in attendance follow. To the fallen who paved the way, they cry, as cups and glasses crash into others. Thus marks the beginning of the main course, a show of Orlazan lamb paired with options of red lineage and even Dwarvar dark. Moira retreats from the Assembly of Lords, reaching a terrace that cannot muffle the rattling of chains below. Here the High Lord looks over what they have wrought, the indentured masses. The most diverse workforce in all of Halan, mutters Moira, watching as orcs, goblins, kobolds, and ogres, and even trolls toil beneath her, the institution of slavery fueling the platinum economy. The truth may be ugly, but the results are undeniable, as evidenced by the latest overseer records. Tearing her gaze away from the darkness below, Moira Firebane turns back towards the bright lights emanating from Am Al Orls. With a final glance back, the High Lord returns to her rightful place as the head of the assembly and oversees the latest spat between the High Laurentius noble and his Gawetti counterpart. Just another session in Harazral Doom, the hold of High Kings in Platinum Chains. The future is bright, gilded in platinum. Cancels any existing or previous Golden Age, allowing a new one. Wow. Golden Age 2. Golden Age 2. All right, and that's it. We're done. We win. We won these. Uh, Breeze Atoll is not good, my guy. No, it'll be fine. How was the mystery overall? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. What next? Uh, I go eat dinner. Look at the golden age name. Ooh, a platinum golden age. Fancy. Fancy. Platinum golden age. Whatever happened to that 19k gift we got from Mission said there'd be consequences? I didn't say there'd be consequences for us. What did I say? I'll look at it on my own time. I don't want to look at it right now. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that is it for today. Also, my camera's... Has my camera been being weird all day? If I could adjust it. Why is my... What? what? Kim, I'm about to say, I need a haircut, bro. I need to get a haircut. My hair is all out of whack. All out of whack. All right. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'll figure it out. Damn, that stretch hit good. That stretch hit good. You need them all. Okay, all right, all right, okay, yeah, yeah whatever, all right, whatever. Just hit me with a dad joke at the very end. Rude. You need to cut all your hair, not just one hair. Me, 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 me. All right. Uh, let's see. Who is live right now? Is there anybody out there playing some? Anbinar, let's check. Let's see. EU4. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope. Not looking like any Anbinar. Nope. Okay. Not, oh, that was me. I just heard me. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we'll just wrap it up here for today. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.